me know if y'all can hear me. And first of all, I just want to say, let me put on my hat because y'all were calling me bald. For everybody that thought I was bald, eat a dick, huh? <laughs> Huh? You like that? Full set of hair, baby. You ever play with me? Oh, Blaze is bald. What the fuck? Yeah, you're definitely not bald, bro. Straight up. What's shaking, chat? What's popping? Let me know if y'all can hear everybody. Um, How y'all feeling? I got my man with me. You know what I mean? I got yes, my meds. Man. Like, this is. Gang, I don't know gang. where meds is, and I don't know where. Well, let's just let's just give it a second. But shout out to the chat. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. I'm kind of. Uh, I got a little cold or something, but whatever. It wasn't going to stop me. It wasn't like I was sick like last time. But give a big shout out to the chat, all the members. Please hit the like button, share it out, do what you do. Uh, Strick, what's up, baby? How you feeling? What's popping? What's popping, G? Shout out to my gang, gang, man. My boy Blaze. Shout out to the chat. Sending positive vibes to everyone. Y'all already know, man. The vibes be sending nothing but positive vibes out to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Always a good conversation with my fucking boy. Y'all already know, man. Straight up, we here. We in here. We in the building. Damn, Shrek, you looking a little buff, man. You've been working out, huh? <laughs> hey, man. You already know the vibes, bro. I'm hitting them shits heavy. Football, man. Lifting. Um, you know, I be on my bike heavy, man, taking my walks, meditating, man. I feel good. Bro, you've been doing pretty much everything but gaming lately, huh? Yeah, man, for real, for real. Like, I'm gonna get back on gaming. I really I can't bro, I wanna get back on gaming, but eventually I will. But yeah, I've been doing I've been I've been in my bag, you know what I'm saying? I really been I've been locked the fuck in. You know, if you follow me on Twitter, I've been talking about being locked in, man. I'm really just locked in for real, for real. Um that's as simple as that. You feel me? All right. Batman. Um, yeah, Strick, you gotta get back into it. I mean I mean you got you got a top of the line PC, you got a PS5. It's not like you're missing everything. You're in the game room right now. I'm gonna get on Horizon soon, man. I'm gonna cop it soon. I'm I'm gonna cop that Horizon Forbidden West. I really that's on the top of my list to play on my PC soon, bro. Like, cause it's not like I don't have the time. I just been waiting, you know what I'm saying, you till know what I can do for you. What? I can add you to the family plan. <laughs> I'm dead what? serious. That means that means you you would be able to play Horizon for free. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, say I less. I'm on that shit. Rev, my boy Vic. I can I invite three other people. Oh, I'm on that shit heavy. Say less. Hey, sir, oh, hold on. Let me let me shout out to the chat. Gion man was good. I see you, man. Shout out to you. Uh Cassie, she already know, man. She found shout out to Cass, man. She's been doing work on her YouTube. Hell so yeah. shout out to Cass. PS Rewind. I see you out there, man. What's popping everyone? Dark Artemis, man. We're shaking. Um, I see Mads in the chat, man. We're shaking. Y'all already know, man. Sending all y'all love, everyone in the chat. Y'all know the vibes. But yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, bro, say less. I'm on that shit. This I know listen, bro. I just seen someone. I literally just seen someone playing that shit on PC the other day. And it's not even going to do no justice on what it really looks like. Like, I'm so geeked to play that shit on PC. Mets! Hey, what up, fellas? You looking What's good, dude. I love to see it. Uh, ah, uh, thank you, thank you, How thank you. How you feeling, Mets? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a little funny about you inviting fucking Strick to the family plan right away, like, with two minutes of talking, and I st I'm still waiting on my invite, but... Yeah, That's how we starting? <laughs> uh, uh, other than that, I'm doing great, you know? I already told, bro, I already told you you can join. I already told you that. All right, so send that invite, pimp. God damn. I shouldn't have to be waiting this long. Still, God damn. A thousand games, all right? Relax. Hey, man, I got a thousand games. That means you should be, I should be wanting to join. You're the number one draft pick around here, bro. <laughs> the, no, that's you, player. <laughs> um, What's up, everybody? Resign, how you doing? Listen, I want to get into a few topics. Um... Things that you know. Every time I hang around with Resign, he comp he's like, "Oh, this guy on Twitter," and he like starts talking shit, and then it irritates me. And I'm like, "Where's this post you're talking about?" But we'll get into that in a second. Meds, have you been playing anything? And what have you been playing? I'm an absolute fraud. Of course, I haven't been playing no fucking games, man. All I play is Hell Divers and uh, Donkey Kong Country One and Two on my Nintendo Switch. That's all I play, baby. That reminds me, is Hell Divers on the plane? Yes. What do you mean, on the plane? On, a, on, on the, the plan. family plan, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Even I have that shit. I own that shit as well. A lot of so. people own it, so 
Yeah, we all own it, so you could um yeah. I'll be rocking that with y'all. You already know. No, no, definitely. We'll get we'll get both you guys. Uh, my mic is low. Oh shit. Yo, oh, by the by the way, can I say things something real quick? I don't know why this popped up. I'm looking at Discord, right? And Blaze joined Blaze joined Discord April 29th, 2017. My birthday is April 30th, bro. Hey. And guess what? Hang on. That's just crazy. Let me know if that's better, chat. Um, yeah, I want to I want to address something real quick to the chat and everybody listening. Go ahead. Every time we do this podcast, people complain about my audio after the fact, but during the podcast, they don't say nothing. During the podcast, they don't say nothing, and afterwards, it's like, yo, Meds was mad loud or Meds was mad low. I, I'm gonna need y'all to speak up while we're live so we can fix it while we're live because I hear it too. Like, I listen back to the podcast after the fact as well because I upload them to Spotify and I don't want to be super loud and you know, over everybody. So, please let me know during the show because I don't want to facts, man. Don't let my boy go through that shit the whole time, you know what I'm saying? They didn't tell him after the fact because then it's yeah. a waste. It's like, why I'm ruining the whole show, it? yeah, yeah, man. You already know. Hey, Blaze, you didn't hear what I said? I said that. Run that back. So I was saying I was looking at Discord, and you've been a member since April 29th. My birthday is April 30th. Yes, sir. Mm. Bro, hey, I you a Taurus, you. right? Oh, yeah, you are a Taurus. Yeah, yeah, we both Taurus. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Your birthday, your, when, when, your birthday coming up, right? When's your, uh, uh, May 16th. May 16th? Word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro, man, I heard you got a free game for my boy Vic. I did. It was so random. He thought it was your birthday, bro. Dude, I told... Bro, I don't want to hear... Oh, I heard... I told you about this like three weeks ago, Blaze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But when I spoke to him like last week, he reminded me like, yeah, he sent me a game. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, he I mean, sent me a game. He was like, oh, happy birthday. And I hit him up. Like, I hadn't even claimed it. I actually only claimed it like two days ago because I forgot about it. But he hit me up like, yo, happy birthday. And I hit him up before I even claimed it. I'm like, yo... You know, it's not my birthday, right? It's not even close. And he said, well, you know what? <laughs> just fucking don't ask me for shit when your birthday actually comes around and just take it. And I said, all right, bet. Okay. Shout out so, to my Virgo gang, bro. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, Virgos, you know, listen, Virgos, I love Virgo women. Well, I, just, I mean, you know, every time I linked up with a Virgo, it was good, but we always ended up clashing. We were too similar, I think. I don't know. Yeah, I fuck with Virgos heavy, man. I, I, I get along with Virgos. Virgos, Taurus, and I'll say Cancer. Cancer gang, too. Shout out to Cancer gang. My last chick was a Cancer. That shit was a disaster. Like, she's a bad person? <laughs> the way he said that shit. Um, she's she's not the worst person in the world. She's not a great person. I think I think it was mostly just bad timing on the both of our parts. It happened. I want to talk about the excellent... So hear me out, chat. I download Stella Blade. Uh, when was it? Yesterday. Or whenever the fuck it came out. I'm playing it. I'm like, eh. I'm in there. I'm playing. I'm like, damn, she got nice ass, nice titties, nice jiggle fizz. I'm like, but I'm like, man, it's all right. And then I go on Twitter and I see everybody. Oh, first time. I beat it without this, beat it without that. And I said, you know what? Let me just go fucking play this game again. So I go. I sit down, I put my head down, and I beat the whole demo. I beat uh the I started doing the boss runs and shit. The game is actually excellent. Um Okay. It it really is. Surprised me. I I what brought me in the door was, you know, some ass. You know, and it obviously it looked cool and fun, but uh Stellar Blade I think is going to do really well. Um it's gonna sell really well. Um the thing that's irritating me about Stella Blade. It's not the game itself. It's the people that are claiming that this is a Souls game. That this is a... Uh... I don't understand how you guys see Souls in Stellar Blade. There's no stamina bar. You know what I mean? Just because you got a parry button and a dodge button and you're fighting bosses, that doesn't mean everything's got to be called a fucking Souls game. Uh, I said on Weapon Wheel that it looks to me like a Devil May Cry hack and slash type of a game. And, of course, people gave me a little pushback. BG agreed with me. But everybody else kind of gave me, oh, it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look... And guess what? All these other big YouTube fighting cowboy comes out and says, oh, yeah, I'm getting Double May Cry vibes. Oh, mm. they retweet that shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So 
Stellar Blade is excellent. Uh, it's really surprised me. I just think there's a little bit of a delay. I don't know, chat. Let me know if I'm wrong about this. There's a little bit of delay. Uh, I played on a couple of the modes, balanced and performance, and I feel like when I played on balanced, there was a delay a little bit when you're moving your character. I don't know if I'm going crazy. Maybe I'm just sensitive to that type of shit. Sekiro a little bit, right? A little bit of Sekiro, a little bit, right? With the with the relying on the uh, perfect parries and shit like that. But really, really surprised me. Again, I didn't expect to like it. I, I wanted to play it, be, it you know what I mean, because I've seen some ass and there's a lot of hype around. But I think people are taking this game and comparing it to Dark Souls because there's a bonfire system where there's a rest stop, basically, where you can sit down, you can rest, you can upgrade, you can buy stuff. So there's a lot of similarities. But again, I, I just, it, this is not a Souls game. But it absolutely solidified my pre-order, no doubt about it. I'm definitely buying the game day one. Um, yeah. Uh, I know you guys are having Wednesday one, right? Wednesday one. Uh, don't quote me. It's in like in a month. Okay, so April. It's an April game. Yeah, I believe so. Okay, but chat. What's the uh, what's the main uh, what's the say on Cellar Blade? You guys, you guys with it or you think it's just a? Uh, I I I'm hearing Bayonetta. I'm hearing a lot of stuff. What what end of April, Glenn? All right. Okay. What do you guys think about uh, Stellar Blade? Um, Resign, I don't know if you like it or not, but I think the game was really fun. And it looks pretty good. It looks you, think good. It, you think it looks good? Mm -hmm. Bro. You see what you're looking at the whole time? If you... I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about everything else. Oh, you know what? Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I was thinking about, I, I was thinking about Rise of the Ronin because that game looked like shit. Um, okay, so Stellar Blade, that looks good? Yeah, Rise of the Runner looks like shit, bro. I know if you say so, then it's true. Yeah. yeah, you see people are saying my mic is loud. Let me lower myself somehow. Let me see what we can do. No, your you mic is sound good. normal to me. That's, a, that's the thing. Like, it sounds fine to you guys, but on the broadcast, it sounds super loud. I've heard it before. I know I know it's a problem. I don't know when... St uh, so, end of April, the solid cast before the game comes out, I'm going to do a giveaway, all right? Like I always do. Never get any credit. You know what I mean? Um, never get any credit for that shit. Thank you. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do a giveaway, Stellar Blade. We'll do two copies of Stellar Blade. Um, if you don't have a PlayStation and you end up winning, you know, just send me a cash app. I don't care what you do with the bread, but I'm going to do a giveaway. Um just because you guys have been rocking for a long time I've, I've tried i really appreciate all the members i want to do something special for the members so if you're a member on my channel i'm going to give you a double entry that's what we're going to do and I, I got this program right here so there's no more let me see if i can show you guys real quick We're gonna charge you uh, fifty dollars. Appreciate that. Thank you. That was you spinning the wheel for Maz to be on the family plan. <laughs> <Maz is laughs> <the family plan. laughs> yes, I made the cut. Yes, sir. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna do. So there's no more. Hey, guess a number one to a thousand anymore. We're gonna give away two copies. You know, I'm getting fancy a little bit, Grave Digger. But I, you know, I feel like, I, I, listen, man. Sometimes I want to really upload a lot of content because I'm really irritated with. I think the gaming community is so fucking corny. Um, Can I give a shout out to a video you put up, bro? Go ahead, bro. Uh, let me give you, I'll give you a shout out to that one way about, I think the uh, developer was called Peak 12 and he went off on his developers and the people who really, or not developers, but who really supported his game. I watched that video. I meant to tell you about that shit, man, but Did you watch I watched it? the video, man, real dope oh, video yeah. and you putting people on game with the shit that he was doing, man. So shout out to you. I Straight saw up. that video and I texted Blaze. I was like, "Yo, that video um, was actually pretty Straight crazy, up. man." And, Demon, uh, shaking, you, you already know what happened. Blaze didn't get back to me at all. So, um, no, no, my fault. Did I not? Wow. But Blaze, Blaze definitely didn't answer that text, but it's all good. I mean, it's not like he answers any of them, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, that was a good video, man. That's crazy about that developer, bro. Dude. That, that guy, four guy, nuts. that guy sucks. Yeah, that was crazy. 
Yeah, if you and, haven't checked out that video, it's this guy it was making a SOCOM successor and he would get drunk on live streams and just fucking like he's the type of guy if you would if he would be losing a match, he would quit and shut oh. down the server so it would ruin the experience for everybody. Like if he's what? losing I'm just gonna shut down the servers, no one else can play, boom. Like that's the type of guy he was. He's he's just fucking a loose cannon and he deserves all the flack he got. And I held that clip for a long time, and I had an. I was like, "Nah, that's." It's oh, time I to go. know. It's actually crazy how long you held that in, because it's that's been brewing for a long time. I know that. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy, man. The way he. I didn't helped. even know it went that deep. You and I haven't even talked about that shit. I didn't know it went that deep. That guy is really on his med shit, like getting drunk and berating everybody. That's that's Come that's on, meds. Bro. That's meds behavior. You can't be doing that shit. <laughs> no, nah, that's old meds. That's old that's meds. Old meds. <laughs> and you weren't even that bad though. You weren't even that bad. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying like just he was he was bugging you know what I'm saying like a lot of people were supporting him you know what I'm saying putting their money where their mouth is you feel me so to do that I don't know some dude hit me up in the comment section like you know all all respect aside like why'd you why'd you don't why'd you give him a thousand dollars I'm like bro and he was like, developing right. a game I understand what you I understand your point of view Blaze he was developing a game that you were interested in and you wanted it to come out I get it. Yeah. Listen, I I don't have a thousand dollars to give a developer to make a game, but uh, if I had it and and a guy wanted to make a game that I was really passionate about, I would give him a thousand dollars. It's not my fault. I didn't know the guy was a fucking dickhead. You know. Nova Kane. I'm surprised that dog shit game booted up. Facts, bro. It, it is what it is. Uh, there's no beef with Big Cloud. Uh, Solid Snake. Uh, basically. Um. I fired his ass. That's it. There's uh, no Big Cloud beef. There's no Big no, Cloud No, Big beef. Cloud can join any If Big Cloud showed up in the chat right now, I was, if he wanted a link, I'll send it to him. There's no problem. Yeah. Me and Big Cloud We love cool. Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. There's no beef. Um, so, yeah. Again, Meds, I don't know. I wish Stellar Blade was almost coming out on PC so a lot of people could experience it. But I think, uh, I think this is going to be a real system seller. I think a lot of people are going to buy it just... Just to spite people. There was a guy on Twitter. This is where I want to get oh, to yeah. now about Spell Uh Shout out to Resign. He gave me the info. And basically, the guy says, uh, let me read this. Hold on. This this irritated the fuck out of me. He said, if you play games like this, talking about Stellar Blade, you need your hard drive checked. You know, you're a weirdo, basically. And And, and bro, that shit really pisses me off because... This is the fucking, like, I just quote tweeted, I'm like, dude, shut your soft ass up. Like, what are you talking about? If you play games, because, like, we're men and we like vagina. We like seeing a nice ass and titties. There's a problem. We're, we're weirdos. We have fucking bullshit on our hard drive. Like, this dude's totally projecting and shit. Like, I just, I don't understand why people get mad that we, as men, enjoy looking at beautiful women. Like, what is the issue with that, bro? I don't understand. If you because play games miserable. that, <laughs> go ahead, Shrek. Oh, he miserable. And you, you talking about the Jim's boys, dude? Is that his name? Well, that was his name or something like that? It was like Jim's with a Z or something like that? Yeah, he hope, bro. As soon as, you, as soon as you disagree with, you know what I'm saying, a lot of what he's saying, he started getting in his feelings and shit like that. He wanted them dudes that's probably in his basement, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he probably wanted them just watching South Park all fucking day. And ain't nothing wrong with watching so far, you feel me? Oh, but I'm just saying, that for sure. yeah, y'all get, but y'all get my point. Like he always, he always been. I had a few little, nothing too crazy, but I had a few little, you know, what I'm saying, um, you know, run-ins with him, man. And when I was in the community like that, man. So, I mean, dude, just he he whack, bro. It's simple as that. I you can tell he. Who that is? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah like I, I just had a few. I, I had a few run-ins, bro. Like the second you say something that you know you fuck with. And then he'll come on your he'll come on your tweet talking about you know just not even really giving his opinion but like though like like you said projecting and shit you know what I'm saying so I mean in my opinion again man dude he just he insecure he you know what I'm saying he only he 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 really pre projecting because of his insecurities for the most part man so I mean shout out to him being the host I think it's just a product I think all of this is just a product of uh, modern culture and. Uh, the uh, attempted erasure of beauty like how, how long have they have how long have they been telling us that fat bitches is beautiful and uh, uh bro i'm sorry but they not um some i'm not gonna lie some of these fat bitches they be bad all right but most of them they not 
I don't know because this one on my this one on my Twitter. She, I don't know. No, that's I, what I I'm saying. Probably... Some of the, bro, some of these plus side <laughs> chicks. Listen, I'm I'm down. I'm with it 100. <laughs> percent But are we gonna pretend like the standard of beauty that we have been adhering to and recognizing as what beauty is is no longer the case anymore? For fucking thousands of years, men have always gravitated towards certain looking women, and we all acknowledge these are the beautiful women. But now they want to rewrite all that. Now. You know, now bitches ain't fat. Now they plus size. Now, nah, bro, they fat. Like, because they because they all about they want to coddle people instead yeah. of just holding them accountable. You know what I'm saying for yeah. their health. You feel me? Like there's, I mean, when it comes to fitness and health, bro. Like there's, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a professional. You know what I'm saying? But I highly doubt that being overweight is it's not healthy. anything to do with healthy. It's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's really about them just calling in people, you know what I'm saying, and, and shit like that. So Exactly. We live in an era where instead of telling people, hey, man, uh, you didn't train hard enough and you got seventh place. Instead of telling somebody they got seventh place, oh, you get a participation medal. Nah, bro, you came in seventh place. You deserve <laughs> nothing. You I deserve swear, nothing. bro. Seventh uh, place? Everybody's entitled to something, dog. I'm telling you, bro. I'm, I'm sick of that shit. I'm, I, I really like am. It's the don't leave a child behind fucking culture. You know what I'm saying? Like they're getting rid of the, they're trying to get rid of the, like the, the, the getting rewarded for your hard work and consistency and discipline. You feel me? Like it is, that's really what it comes down to, man. And like, you know, they just want to make people feel good. It's like, nah, man, you got to earn that shit. They want to make people feel good for doing nothing, for accomplishing nothing. It's like, no, you don't get to sit on your ass and eat Burger King three fucking days in a row and like, get called beautiful i'm sorry no include get everyone your, and everything everyone doesn't in need to gym. be included in everything yeah Seriously. get your ass in the gym <laughs> it is what it is it is what it is not everybody's meant to be everywhere if you're four foot eleven shout out to ash and luca that was just a yeah. total coincidence to if you're four foot eleven you're not going to be able to get on a bunch of roller coasters the roller coasters aren't <laughs> ableist they're not sizest you just aren't big enough to ride the shit it is what it is When's the last game that had like a beautiful woman on it? You oh, there's know? a lot. There's a lot. Which one? What like Final the last, Fantasy? The last major. Or are you game? talking about as a? I mean, out as like a. I'm talking about a main character, like a like a woman, like damn, like you know, like I I commend these developers for doing this shit. Like I'm buying it. Be, I don't. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> uh. Maybe that's Tomb Raider? Good, I don't know. Like that's a good uh, question. Even even Tomb Raider, uh, uh, Lara Croft for the from the remakes or the you know the remake trilogy, uh, she's not as stacked as she once was. Like, but it's not even it's it's not even that. It's like how they how they made how how they shaped her and made like the clothes look on her. You know what I'm saying? When you're playing a game, because really ain't even that. Like you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's really more about like how they you know how they shaped their ass and put the you know. Yeah. What I'm saying? I mean, I thought she was a baddie. I, I thought I thought reboot Laura was still a baddie, but um, but not but not to the super exaggerated uh, yeah way that it was before. And maybe that's okay. Maybe that's fair. I'm not gonna totally shit on it because, in my opinion, she still looked good. But um, but we know that, for example, Tifa, Tifa mm, in the Tifa, Final Fantasy true. VII remake, they nerfed her chest. Like she had way bigger boobs. They nerfed this shit. They. <laughs> She went from D. She went from D's to A's, which I mean is great in school, but not in real life. <laughs> once they see, once they see the sales on Stellar Blade due to this, though, watch how many games come out with crazy women protagonists in these clothes, bro. It's it all. It only takes one game. Like, <laughs> yeah, this could oh. be the spark, man. Is it, right? Like Strictly just said, I think if, so. If, if, the, if this game sells well, developers are gonna be like, you know what? Fuck trying to cater to all these fucking goofballs. You know what I mean? I mean Think about it, Blaze. We we are in a place. So we we've gone so far down this rabbit hole of the bullshit that Stellar Blade, for the most part, is getting the attention because the chicks in Stellar Blade are hot. Like a lot of people know about Stellar Blade, but do they know about Stellar Blade because of the gameplay? Do they know who Eve is even is developing this video game? They don't know a lot of shit about the game. They just know that there's a bunch of bad bitches in the game, and they're down for it. And it's selling probably just because of that. I can't wait to see what women are in GTA 6G. <laughs> mm. 
They had motherfuckers twerking on a car, man. GTA Six is Bro, gonna they be. Got, hey, they got that. They G, yo, Rockstar got the shape right though. You seen like? Yeah, the, like the they got all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they got the ratchet shit going on. Like that's my fucking flow with that. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, like I need that. So, <clears throat> but again, I don't. I'll never understand why people get upset that people that men enjoy what they enjoy, like. I don't I, I never will understand that. Like you're like when I see shit like that, it fucking drives me nuts, dude. It's like, bro, shut the fuck up. Like they're somewhere. miserable, man. They're miserable. They probably never had no pussy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's like who gets mad at that type? Like they they there's there's nothing you can possibly do to make them happy. Cause they can't even there's, make there's not happy. there's not there's like because if, if it's a dude in a game, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna complain about that. Then when it's a chick. It's like who really complains about a badass chick being the uh, the protagonist in a video game, dog? Like, uh, strictly, you know who complains about bad chicks in video games? Ugly chicks. That's who <laughs> complains. That's it. You think, I swear. bro? I know, I know. And and again, going back to the whole fitness thing, people are upset about people who are fit because they're too lazy to go to the gym and get fit. And that's and that's one thing that's actually super upsetting because, okay, you know. Some people are just really good looking and they're just born with it and there's nothing you can do about it, right? There's nothing you can do about it. But you see a jack guy in a video game, dude, you can get jacked. If you try, you can go and you can do that. They be triggered. You don't want to do that. Yeah. You're mad be because triggered. you're mad because other people have discipline that you don't have. That people are willing to get up early in the morning and go to the gym and you refuse to do it. It is what it is, man. Yo, if no lie. Solid state and you don't look great. That's quiet on funny. quiet on Metal Gear Solid Five is definitely fine as fine as fuck. Oh, oh, hell yeah! Quiet super, was, super, yeah, yeah. Super, quiet was bad. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. And, and sure. somebody else in the chat, real quick. This is the last thought of it. Somebody said in the chat, intensive care, bro. They fit shame. Yeah, they absolutely do that. They fucking shame you for going to the gym. Are we serious here? We're fucking shaming people for working out for fucking getting, putting in work. On, it's our projection. They just project their insecurities because they can't be yeah. disciplined and consistent enough to put in the work that you do. So instead of just admitting that to themselves and getting better, they're going to complain on the internet and really try to project their insecurities on you. That's what they do. Yep. Which, which is because they lack accountability. It's gaslighting. Fuck that. Definitely. No, Definitely. I'm, I'm not fucking ableist or fucking uh, fat phobic because I work out. You're fat and lazy. Get in the gym. Solid Rev says, right. who gives a fuck, Blaze? That's why I play the shit everybody else in the community shits on because most of these dudes is lame as fuck. I mean, I can't I can't agree with you more. It's like you almost play shit just to spite these idiots. You know what I mean? You True know, story. And this ain't a shot at you, Meds, or anybody yeah. else. Uh -huh. But, like, I think Rev said, like, oh, people were shitting on uh, Suicide Squad, but they're co-signed in Power World. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just like... Mm -hmm. I understand what he's saying, but like, but everybody's got their own taste. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like I'm. I don't know. It's like, but but, but to to get upset because men enjoy seeing beautiful women is just ridiculous to me. It it, it really irks the fuck out of me, dude. It's like, dude, shut yeah. the fuck up. I love because they'll talk like, oh, go touch some grass, go get laid. Like, go get laid, brother. I got three kids, bro, and you could only dream about having my girl. What the fuck you talking about? But they say it like it's a bad thing, though. That's the thing. They say it like it's some type of clap. <laughs> like, uh, maybe I will. Okay, cool beans. <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it just, it's, it's, it's just crazy, man. But that's how people do, man. That's that's how they do. Specifically in the gaming community. I mean, I'm pretty sure we could find people like this in any community. But, you know, it's the it's the shadow side of the of the gaming community. You know, because we grew up as, you know, we grew up being made fun of because we like video games and it, not just the the football and the sports games we grew up like in different games you know what i'm saying and we remember we used to be called nerds and shit but nowadays nerds is fucking winning because motherfuckers don't want to mess with the, the gigs and shit they don't want to fuck with the thugs and all of that because they tired of getting locked up and everything else to do with that so when they rock with the nerds some of us nerds can really play both sides of the field you know what i'm saying in regards to that so it's just like you know we got the juice Let's get to these super chats real quick. Um, Let's do it. I'm ready. Yo, yo, shout out to this guy because this is a long time supporter. Black Metal Gamer with the two. Yeah. Stellar B with, 
Yeah. Instead of be hot with gamers like the Resident Evil 8 goth mama. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lady Lady Demetresque. Bro, That's she my, was on fire. That's People were loving She's that. She's so thick. I love that bitch. I love that bitch. Um, whole classic cage with the two. Appreciate you, Cassie. Stellar Blade is made by mobile game developers. Yeah, that makes sense. A lot, a lot of these games that you see coming. That's um, crazy too. Yeah, like um. Yeah. A lot of these Asian developers that are coming out that we're seeing bigger projects from, they are not new studios. They've been around. They've been making mobile games and shit. Now they got their money up. And now they're making bigger games, so. Bro, that's crazy. Uh, uh, mobile developer, bro. That's crazy. I love to see it. Uh, Blaze, carry on. Yeah, it's, it's up. Is that it? No, it's up. No, I just read that. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh shit. So the Dark Ottomus. Dark yeah. Otomus. I think I said that right. Otomus. 1999. Appreciate you, pimp. Um, Yo, Blaze. Stellar Blade is awesome. Send that link, bro. I'm chomping at the bit to join you guys. Hey, send that link. I get you in here. Uh, give me, give me a minute, Dark. I'll get you in here. Yeah, who is um, this fella? I mean, just as long as you're not a weirdo, you're welcome, brother. Yo, I appreciate that for real. I really do. Thank solid you. Solid rare facts. What do you say? He said playing Horizon Zero Dawn and Aloy would be so much uh, like a sexualized Azo Aloy. Ah, bro, he's not. Aloy has mad potential to be bad as fuck. <laughs> like Aloy would be bad, bro. If they really just, you know what I'm saying, like really shaped up a little bit. Um, yo, Aloy so many of the complaints about Horizon is that everybody hates Aloy. And okay, cool. Everybody hates Aloy because she's boring. All right, cool. If Aloy was 75% hotter, I bet you we would lose a lot of those complaints. I personally like Aloy. Like I get I if you play if you if you're going off of Horizon Zero Dawn. Then I understand that. They definitely spiced her up in Horizon Forbidden West. Though. See, I disagree. I think she looks better in Dawn. No, I, I could see I think, that. Though. I think she looks mannish in uh, the sequel. I could, I, could see, I could see that, though. I could kind of see that. But um, that, that, that peach fuzz. <laughs> anyway, uh, <something laughs> saw, shout out guys with the, with the five pounds shout all the way from it. across the pond. Blaze is a lesbian. Shout out to you guys. Appreciate you. Might be, I mean, you know. He liked women. Shit, fuck it. Certainly a carpet muncher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, facts. I do like women, guys. Appreciate you, brother. <laughs> Coke has the case with the five. Modern gaming caters to insecure losers who don't like gaming and tell gamers who've been at it for decades that they're wrong for how it's always been. Preach. Um. Cash, thank you again for the uh, for the five. Thank you so much. Uh, another shout out to my man King Kimpachi for coming oh, a member, my guy. my guy. Shout out to you, Kimpachi, again. Uh, I pressured him in the Discord for not supporting me, and like clockwork, this shit works every time. Right? I'm like just so I like I manifest. Blaze, Blaze peer pressures people into buying merch into super chatting. Isn't that crazy, people? <laughs> nah, he, he just fucking manifests easy as hell. Like he games people like yo, you got a ton of money, you ain't donating. What's going on? No, you know why I meant like I've been over this. I, I I give everything. If somebody asks me for something, I'm not even gonna hesitate. You need money, send me a cash app. You need a game, sure, I'll buy it for you. Always. So that's you know. Cause you the truth, man. You the Thank big you. fucking homie. That's why you always get what you want, bro. Because the currency of the universe is giving, dog. That's why he's always receiving shit back. I, I mean, that. I mean, I think actually that has a lot of. There might be some truth to that because Blaze is a very generous guy, and he, um, yeah. bro, he was. People gave me love for giving back to the fucking uh, community, but he was doing it before me. He's the original OG. Yeah, you Period. think she looks better in Zero Dawn? I, I, I do believe that. Uh, I, I, that's what I was saying. She looks better in Horizon she, Zero Dawn. I, don't know. I would have to look at it. I would have to really look at him side she, by side again. She definitely looked better in Horizon Zero. And at first, I thought I was bugging when I thought about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I played them, she definitely looked better in in, in, uh, in Zero. I mean, graph, you know, because the, the graphics was different in Forbidden West. So it's really, you're not really thinking about it. But she did look like more, you know, beautiful in, in uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I, I, I agree with that. I think I, I, if we're talking about like pure detail, like, like she looks way more human like in. Uh... Forbidden West, but if you're talking about just like a, you know, more. I think that's look. where they. I think that's exactly why she looks worse because, you know, the graphics are better. They're improved. They're more realistic. So now they got the, they now they have the capability to make her look like the man she always she was always meant to look like. 
Um, on PS4, they didn't have the technology. Now, now they have it. Now they have it. Next game, she's just gonna be a dude. I don't know. Um, again, uh, like what you like. If you listen, if uh, I don't like again, I'll just say this, and we can move on from this shit because uh, I think, like you guys said, it's people that are insecure that really. They try to they try to put their life and project it on you. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, you're not gonna sit here and tell me that you don't like looking at women. You're a fucking liar. Yep. And and that's the bottom line. Like, if not, like, you you clearly like men, or you're you know you're you're lying. Like, there's no way you don't like looking at them. Or you're attracted Mark, to ugly chicks. I don't know. Some people Mark are say, attracted to ugly chicks. <laughs> Mug say, "Hey, yo, Blaze, I need seventy fast. <laughs> Muck, my bumble cloud. I'll send it to you. You know I got uh, you, bro. Hey, yo, Muck, when we hit the Virgin Islands, bro, because that is definitely happening. I mean, he lives there, so. I know, but, like, well, when I go, you know, <laughs> Virgin Islands, I need to be there, for sure. I need to be there. Dark. I'm in Jamaica soon, so. How you doing, brother? Dark Artemis, what up? Are you there? Or are yo, you there? Can you hear us? Yo, that's freaking me out, bro. What I don't think he can hear us. I thought his shit was on. I thought his shit was frozen or something. It looks frozen. No, he's moving. He can't hear us. Blink if you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> blink if blink twice if Blaze just sent me a thousand dollars on on Cash App right now. There we go. Mark, say loud. Oh, you're you back. were, What's you up, were supposed to blink twice first, but all right. <laughs> What's up, fellas? How you feeling? What's man? Shaking, man? What up? What up, man? Good man, good, good. A long time coming. I was supposed to get you in here a while ago. I know, man. I know. It's but been a long case. time, dude. I think I hit you. I hit you up in what in 2022, and then I just got busy, dude. And I was just like, I was just like, I got some free time today. I was just like, might as well hit you up. You know? I'm the worst at responding, bro. So don't take. I know, dude. I know, I know that. I already know that. So. <laughs> so this was a long time coming. I didn't even know. Yeah, bro, he's been supporting, and oh, we always keep in contact for a long time. Um, All right, cool. That's what's up. I'm happy to have yeah, it's you. Like, you. It's like it's like once a year we just keep in contact. <laughs> what you puffing on? Uh, it's the Geek Bar. Oh, cool. cool. Weed? Nice. Uh, vape. No, he's vaping. Okay. All right, I like that. I don't I do like that. Art, I don't do that artificial shit. You were just doing it. I used to, uh, bro. I used to smoke cigarettes <laughs> all the time, man, and. <laughs> Yo, so. Man, you were just vaping that shit a month ago. You good, brother? What he was doing that shit. He was doing that shit. Last, wasn't he doing that? Or no? Nah, was he smoking no, something else? No, not last week. Last week no. I was smoking some weed. Oh, yeah. yeah the weed, but that I was at the end of the that. show. I don't smoke. I don't smoke during the show or before the show because if I do, I literally don't even know how to do the show. I, you I, don't I have function. function. <laughs> I, yeah, I shut down. I get, I get quiet. I get quiet afterwards. If I smoke during the show, Blaze always hits me up afterwards. Dude, why didn't you say anything? <laughs> yeah. Let's get these last two super chats because they're kind of in line with what we were talking about. And then, cool. uh... Black Metal Gamer with a two. Appreciate you, pimp. Outrage culture is really a bunch of adult children. Yeah. Yeah. Can't disagree. At the, at the end of the day, we are all like we're adults. We're at that. You know, we're all like at least I am. We're all in the like mid 30s, later than that. Some of us. And like, really, like, take a step back and look at yourself typing on the internet, like, doing all this crying and shit. Like, it's just, that, listen, I'm guilty of it. I've done it before. You know, don't get me wrong, but like, really, like, it is. It's a bunch. It's a bunch of man children, bro. For sure. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I'm a grown ass kid, but yeah. Yeah, but in a good way, because you're supposed to be a grown ass kid. Like a lot of men. A lot of us men are grown ass kids. We just like to have fucking fun. I mean, look yeah, at the yeah. posters on my wall, dude. I'm a yeah. grown ass kid. I see the Zelda shirt. I see the Zelda, yeah, shirt. I, I, the Zelda I, I, shirt and shit. Like, there's dude, a certain I'm, level. There's a certain like. Yeah. It's okay to keep like your inner child alive. You know, keep playing video games, keep doing the things yeah. you enjoy when you were a kid. But keeping the same attitude is a whole different uh, uh, yeah. issue. Bro, I, I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks of me. You know, if, 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 if they if they got a problem with me, then they got a problem. Then that's on them. That's not on always me. be authentic, bro. If if yeah. you're always authentic, then you're gonna attract the people who actually like you, and that's that's positive. Exactly. That's a good thing, in my opinion. Uh, resigned BC twenty seven with the with the five. Uh, resigned 
We're going to find out what you did to resign BC 1 through 26. Don't worry. We got the cops on you. I can't <laughs> wait to see less Abby-like characters in future games after Stellar Blade. I um, so I wouldn't you, hold your you breath. you ruffle some feathers, Resign, now. You're going to do it. The thing yeah. is, I actually think Resigned is right. I just don't think it's happening now. Like, I think we're still going to suffer through about two, three more years of ugly, fat female characters in games. And then after that, the universe will reset itself and everything will be okay. I look, I might be in the minority, but Ellie always been pretty as fuck to me, bro. I know. No, I'm you're not in the minority in that one. No, I think Ellie looks looks good. Yeah. I think they see, I, I, bro. You know, they made her look. They made her look good in, in two. They made her. They made it. They made her like. You know what I'm saying? Like she had. She had to be rough. You know what I'm saying? Because you know her circumstances and shit. But like she's she is pretty as a. I think she looks worse in two, bro. That's just. He looked like shit in fucking Last of Us Two, dude. That's my opinion, bro. I think they fucking ruined her. Like, I don't. I don't know. remember. I can't really remember how. But like, I remember her. I don't know. I you know, listen, bro. And plus, she's at that. I don't know what age she was in the first one. So I just, I'm not even gonna talk about this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about the first one, dude. Maybe it was the first she's, one. Yeah. yeah but I got to say, I got to say, let's be careful. Let's she was a kid, careful. all right. She was a kid, yeah. man. Yeah, bro. But I, I don't, you know what I'm saying. But no, I get it. You're saying like, she, she's, she's rough because she has, she lives in that environment. She has to be like that. You know yeah. what I mean? She rugged. She got something special about her. I'm not mad at. It. I just think. I think they made her look different, like a lot. Like it's almost like the Horizon effect, almost too human like, too realistic. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Somebody can say she looked like Carl. Last of Us 2 or P. She looks like Come Carl. On. She looks like Carl from Last of Us. <laughs> she looks like, she yeah. looks like Carl. <laughs> now, Dark, let me uh, ask you a question. What? And, you know, you might. Well, let me just ask you this question first. Just ask the question, bro. Witcher 3 or Zelda? Witcher three or Zelda? Yeah, you gotta say a specific Zelda. Witcher, uh, Witcher, really? Witcher three. Yeah, oh, man. Bro, yeah, holy dude. Shit. yeah, dude. I, I love the Witcher, man. Like I, I've been a fan of the Witcher since one, so I, I love the Witcher, and I read all the books too. So, oh wow, okay, yeah. real nerd shit. Yeah, I'm not, dude, I'm such a fucking nerd. It's not even funny. <laughs> Hey, fuck it, man. Enjoy your life, bro. Exactly. That, that, that's what that's the way I look at it. I look at it as you only got one life to live, right? Live it the way you want. I know you asked him this specifically because he's wearing a Zelda shirt, but I got to agree with the man. Uh, Zelda's great, but Zelda's... I'm going to get shit on for this, but Zelda's a little overrated. Wow. I, I, think, I think in terms of like the... I would say probably like the Wii to Wii U era of Zelda and probably even like some of the GameCube games weren't up to par to what Zelda is now. Like Zelda Breath of the Wild is really good. I think Tears of the Kingdom is better, but you know, to each their own, I think them going into that open world aspect kind of gave them that um, more of a how do you say it like more of a of a standing in in the in the gaming w- yeah. world you know yeah witcher so. 3 to me i tried to beat that game on playstation playstation 4 and i dropped it yeah. like twice and then once i got my pc and i downloaded a few mods like man like i just really got myself immersed in the game if you can get through the first like few hours of witcher and just stick with it you'll end mm-hmm. up loving it you'll end yeah. up really loving it it's just i couldn't do it man Bro, i couldn't it's really do it slow. Like- I know, I know, Shrek, but if you stick, like I said, at the beginning really is slow. It's like, what's going on here? Who's this guy? He sounds monotone. Like, but if you stick with it, you'll end up really liking it, bro. You'll end I think up, as soon as the you, world is gorgeous. As soon as you fight the Griffin, that's when you're like really yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact. You know? And then, and then you start going into the actual world because it's like, it's that hub world, I think, that they screwed up with. That hub world that they had in the beginning where they were just kind of like just, throwing you in and kind of giving you monsters to fight and like getting some old lady her pan back and shit like that i think that's where people were kind of like what the hell am i playing and then now they're like i haven't played like one of the best games i haven't played zelda since um ocarina of time though ocarina of time was a goat to me you know what i'm saying like Damn. when you finally got to the part where you got your horse you know what i'm saying and you was riding up into the caves and shit 
Yeah. Like that was bro, like, that was that shit felt like just some whole a whole different stratosphere of gaming at the time. He was like, yo, for sure. You know yeah. what I, mean? I remember the music in that game vividly. Like yeah, certain man. menu music, everything was really catchy. I remember really uh yeah, fact swag bag. You gotta get out of White Orchard and then you good, bro. Fact. Yeah, as soon as you get out of that, is you're like golden. You got so many quests to do, so much things to like explore and things like that. So it's definitely definitely worth playing for sure. Um so last week I told you I didn't have a chance to play Rise of Ronin. I played it for an hour and I really didn't want to say too much until I uh, gave it some time. And a lot of people are asking me, they were like, DM me, hey, Blaze, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, well, here's here's what I'll say. Their chart, it's just Team Ninja makes great games. And if you're going to charge $70 and if you're going to make a a rule Japan game, you know what I mean? Like if you if they're just if you're going to make a samurai game for now on any developer that does a samurai game, they're, you're just going to be compared to Ghost. You're just going to understand that. So you're making an open world game, you're charging this more money than Ghost was initially. And people are comparing the two and they're saying like, you know, and I get it, it's first party, more resources, more money, more funding. I get it. Rise of Ronin looks good at points and it looks washed out and just bad at points it's weird like there's moments where i'm like wow look at the grass is swaying i'm under this cool tree the thing that keeps me playing rise of ronin i've been keep going back to it keep going by it's good is the combat the combat is so fucking excellent so addictive the gore you're cutting people's fucking heads off you're constantly gaining new weapons constantly gaining new armor um i really I really just get irritated when developers add a jump button in Rise of Ronin. If you guys know what I'm talking about, there's a jump button, but you won't be able to jump on a like a small little obstacle, like a little rock next to you. It's like, what is the point of giving me a jump button if I can't even jump over little tiny rocks? It's like yeah. there's invisible walls, and it's just like it doesn't make sense. You're like, what the fuck? I should be able to jump over this rock, and I know it's something. But it, is it nitpicking or is it just, I'm just, you know what I mean? It's just stupid. It's like, damn, bro. But again, the combat holds up the game. It's really enjoyable. The thing that, the thing that I've been noticing is a lot of repetitive in, in mission structure. There's, you know, you're doing a lot of the, it's like, you know, in Far Cry, you go kill a, vill, you know, kill everybody in the village and then it cut scenes and it goes daytime to nighttime and it cycles out and then all the good pies pile up and. It's a vendor. It's a, like a little, you know what I mean? It's just like Far Cry when you clear out a, a little uh, bad area, let's say. Um, but I, I do I do enjoy Rise of Ronin. I, I think people are being way too hard on it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a decent game. It really is. Rise of Ronin is a decent game. Combat is what holds it up. Uh, have you played Rise of Ronin Dark? No, I haven't played it yet. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm playing Dog, Dragon's Dogma right now. Mm, we're gonna get to that. Um, but look, again, I game share. It's there in front of me. I think people are super. Crit I think people want PlayStation graphics on every single game that comes out, and I just don't think it's it's a realistic expectation. I, I just don't think you can expect the same graphics for every fucking. You know what I mean? The game looks good enough for you to enjoy. <clears throat> And and for once, I'm I'm really saying like, look, this gameplay holds it up. Like it's good enough to, you know. Anyway, it's, Rise it's not. Well, it's not even really a, a PlayStation game, right? It's it's a Koi Tecmo game, right. right? So you know, you you get what you get with Koi Tecmo. If if anybody's ever played Neo Neo Two, Wolong, those games aren't gorgeous looking games. They're no, they're just not. they're just fun to play. They are. That that's that's the whole that's the whole thing about gaming is it's fun to play. If it's fun to play, then then why not play it? It's just, I, I never understood why people are like, oh, it has to be graphics. Graphics have to be the thing. It's like, well, well why? I think I'm with you on that. No, but I do think people buy a PS5. There's expectations. You know, you see launch PS4 games looking better. And, bro, you, you know, bought a console. You didn't buy a PC. I understand, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, dark. You're right, if you bro. want 
graphics, you buy a PC. No, you're right. But <laughs> what about the games that come before Rise of Ronin that look ten times better? And that's a console game. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the whole I get point. That. I get that, but but th that's the thing. This is their f first four way foray into uh, open world, so right. you know I, I expected it to not look as good as you know something like Elden Ring or something like that. You know, like in terms because I mean the Elden Ring, like yeah, graphically it's not the best, but that world just looks art direction phenomenal art design, yeah you know just looks phenomenal well elden ring looks better than rise of the ronin and elden ring is also on ps4 and xbox one that's true that's true yeah right right exactly i think Cross people just expect game. better when a game is exclusive to the next generation or the current generation i'm i'm with you when it comes to like yeah. graphically like i don't really care too much about graphics but there is a certain standard that needs to be upheld, and I don't think it matches it. I don't think this meets it. Personally. This is my thing about Rise of the Ronin. It looks like a completely different game than it did when they first showed it at the original State of Play showcase, whatever it was. And that's the problem because we, we've been burned as gamers way too often about that shit. And this was just a simple red ass flag. You know what I'm saying? Like, just I'm, I'm over that. You know what I'm saying? Again, man, we've been kind of done dirty on a lot of shit like that. And Rise of the Ronin ain't no, it's not an exception. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we on PS5, man. Like, I'm not dropping my standards. We on PS5. And, you know, PS5, the, the game should look better. And it look like they're hurrying developers or, or not them, but you get what I'm saying. Like, developers are just rushing to get the game out because they just kind of trying to get, you know, return on their investments and shit like that. And no, nah, man, we're not doing that. It looks like shit. It looks janky. And that's just what it is. And, and like somebody, I, I seen... Huh? Uh, go ahead, go ahead, finish. I was just saying, I seen somebody say that Neo 2 looks better than that. You know what I'm saying? And that's I mean, unacceptable. Yeah, it's that's unacceptable. Like, we on PlayStation 5, bro. And on top of that, we still having cross generation games. we about to be like, we're in 2024. I know, I can't stand it, bro. We're in 2024, man. We shouldn't have cross generation games. You know what I'm saying? If you enjoy the game, cool. We're not shitting on a game because people enjoy it. But what we're doing is outlining inconsistencies, especially due to the patterns of games in the past. When they show us something, it looks fire, and then we get it, and we let down because it don't look like nothing like the final product, like the like we expected it to be. No, man, we just not having that. And straight, you shouldn't it. be apologizing for telling the truth. That, that's the true. Fact, the fact yeah. of the matter is, the game does not look up to par. And not only that, but what are they charging for this game? Seventy. They're charging seventy dollars. Yeah, they, they, they crazy. So, so they're, so they're crazy. charging seventy dollars for this game, and and it's very fair for you as a consumer to say <clears> you're charging me seventy, and I'm looking at other games that also charge me seventy, and they look way better. I don't think that's unfair. It's fucked up. If the game it's was fifty dollars or sixty dollars, then maybe you could say, all right, cool, but they're not charging full price, but they are charging full price, and they're not matching their peers. And this mm. is the thing about Rise of Ronin. You really appreciate first party this is what i'm talking about first party bro you really appreciate it when it comes to animations like when you're on the uh, little glider and you just magically just fucking stand up and land like there's no like you know he doesn't it's just shit like that it's a little it has a little bit of jank to it but again the combat's so good but the thing that pisses me off about rise of ronin is the performance issues because mm -hmm. again there's no excuse the game doesn't look that crazy for it to be struggling with that performance that's the thing that bothers me like the perform it really i can deal with the graphics the gameplay is fun it's it's the performance side of things and you're looking at the game and you're scratching your head like what's the fps in that game all over the place that's how it feels like is it all over the place oh man so they're not even like i mean a lock 60. there's there's three modes there's a, i think there's a ray tracing mode don't quote me on this. And there's a performance and there's a quality. How do you have a performance mode in a game that looks that bad? And when you're on performance mode, it just shimmers. It pretty what? much stays the same. You can just see a little shimmering and and like screen space reflections on water and shit like that. You can. But, so uh, question, question. What happened to what? It wasn't. Again, I could be wrong on this. I thought I heard something about this, but didn't PlayStation wasn't PlayStation supposed to have like demos on? The majority of their oh yeah trials first party studio trials. Yep. games or whatever, or whatever you know what i'm saying like what happened to that you know what i'm saying what happened to that they I, gave up man 
I think Dragon's Dogma <laughs> coming out the same day. Um, really, you know, again, bro, I'm I haven't dropped Rise of Ronin. I'm can, I'm still playing it. I'm enjoying the game. You know, it just those issues are real issues. That's not that's not me complaining or me hating. That's just speaking the facts. Um, I bought the game. I supported it, and I'm still playing it. But those are the issues you know that i just said dragon's dogma you've been playing dark right um yeah how many hours you got in that like 35. is it game of the year is it the 90 that everybody's saying to for me yeah but i, I can see where like you're saying you know with rise of the ronin there's issues there are issues with Do dragon's dogma too as well where are you playing? and that's i'm playing on playstation okay I play most of my games on PlayStation. I'm a console gamer, man. I don't, I don't play on PC that much. But, you know, I mean, I, I respect PC because, you know, they can do some some badass shit. But, like, Dragon's Dogma has its issues with performance, especially in the cities where you're fucking dropping, like, 30 frames. You know, I mean, it's already at 30 frames, and then it drops to, like, 20 frames when you get into the city. It's just, like... It, it, it's it's bad but it's the it's the gameplay you know it's the gameplay that makes you want to keep going and keep playing and and also the expo the exploration in it as well so it, it, it's definitely one of those games i'm a big rpg guy so i i get it if you if you're not liking the game because i know blaze you you tried playing it and you didn't really like it as much i think you if you were bigger rpg type of person you would probably like it but it's not that it's just it the dragon's dogma plays like monster hunter okay ah uh, okay you're not and, a monster hunter guy. and i'm not a i i don't get me wrong i liked monster hunter on the psp back in the day but it yeah I'm, I'm not taking anything away from dragon's dogma but it's just the combat for me they have innovated like they have dope dude i killed the uh this big orc guy and we fell into the into a big puddle of water and all the water splashed and you know you're, you're, you're climbing on and you're stabbing them like that shit is really cool it's really cool but you could do that in the first game you know what i mean but yeah. what's really impressive about dragon's dogma is the uh the animations the physics shit like that cool little physics things you haven't really seen a lot in gaming lately um but i haven't fully said i'm done with dragon's dogma yet i haven't said that there's been a lot of um microtransactions talk around it like a lot you know, uh, fighting cowboy got into it. Uh, Asmin Gold got into it. There was this whole thing about Dragon's Dogma review. Well, copies. I got a thing about those microtransactions. Yeah. yeah, those yeah. microtransactions you can't even. You have to actually go out of your way to find them. So you can't. You can't just go into the game and then all of a sudden say, "Oh, I want to buy some microtransactions," and go to the menu and be like, "I gotta buy microtransactions." You can do it. You can do it from the, the main menu. You can go down to this. It says like go to the PlayStation Store, and then it takes you to the the um, the microtransactions, and then all those microtransactions is all shit you can earn in the game, anyways. So so the whole microtransaction thing for Dragon's Dogma is completely just it's ridiculous. I saw I saw people on Twitter like just fucking freaking out about it. I was like, bro. Like, why are you guys freaking out about this? How long have we had games that have had microtransactions in them? Every game has them. Exactly. Now they're all upset because it's a single-player game that has microtransactions? How many single-player games have had microtransactions? Multiplayer, too. All, listen, all of them. I'm not, I'm not one of those guys that cry about microtransactions. Do you I think they're... Them. Yeah, I, it's not that I love them. I just... I, I almost do it... I almost do it to almost spite people. It's not even I love them or don't like them. It's just, like I said, my favorite developer is Firm Software. There's no microtransactions. You know why? Because yeah, there's, there's no microtransactions. There's no reason because they give you so much content, so many things to find, explore. There's so much different shit that you don't even think about, oh, this needs microtransactions. You never think that because there's mm -hmm. so much content. And the problem with these developers, they put out games that are lacking content and they just figure... You know what? Let's just sell them this fucking thing. You know, and other developers see this shit, dude. Don't... Like, the thing about Dragon's Dogma is a game like Monster Hunter had way more microtransactions than Dragon's Dogma. Way more. Yeah. But I didn't yeah. hear any fucking complaining or crying about it. 
Yeah, it's it's mostly the publishers that decide when microtransactions are put into games. So a lot of times people blame the developers. It's really not on the developers. It's usually on the publisher and the publisher it is, is usually, Capcom. Yeah. Capcom, right? Capcom's going to do what they're going to do. They yeah. want to make money. Bro, Resident Evil, all their all, bro. Every game. Every game. Evil, Every game. Evil, listen, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because I feel like we're missing a large part of the point here. Because I don't think people are mad about the microtransactions. I think people are mad because they weren't discussed in the reviews. They uh, weren't yeah. They weren't in the build that the reviewers played. And then after the game came out, they put them in the game. That's deceptive. That's wrong. Okay, you mad, you're absolutely right about that, but guess what? You know who does that every fucking release? Call I of know Duty. Call of Duty does it, but every but listen, time. just because just because other people don't does doesn't mean that we can't call it out. No, no, we should I'm call these. Saying, we should call we Call of Duty out as well. Energy, meds. Like they don't call no, out Call of Duty. I understand that. I understand that, and we should keep the same energy. You like Crash Team Racing did the same shit too. After they the did, shit yeah. was already out and the reviews were out, they fucking put micro. That's Activision for you, man. They exactly. just they they, they I think, I think Activision actually the micro. invented the fucking adding the mar- adding the micros after the release. No. It but, it was um, it was Xbox that, that that started doing microtransactions. After they, they've reviews been doing were that. out. No, Not I'm, after, I'm, reviews. I'm talking, after, after reviews. After okay. reviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. After like reviews. Hiding, yeah. hiding them and then putting them in after reviews. I think Activision started this with Call of Duty. They started this with Call of Duty like 4 years ago. And just because Maybe it's not a hot topic at the time. If Dragon's Dogma does it, we got to call it out. If any game does it, we got to call it out. At least Assassin's Creed you knew before the fucking game came out. That's true. Assassin's Creed, I mean, Ubisoft's known for doing that shit. They, they've been doing it for years. So, like, I, I think I, I, I kind of agree with, with both sides. Like, we should call it out. But at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, like... You don't have to buy it, you know. Like if you if you're buying that shit and you're upset about it, then why are you buying it? I, I'm just saying. Look, hey, yo, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because yeah. people are saying, uh, Muck said that I'm wrong. They're in the review. No, some people, very very few people, mention them in the review. Some people mention them. Most of the Vic reviewers. I mean, dude, the reviews are still there. You can look at them, look them up right now. They didn't mention them. Fine in the Cowboy reviews. didn't the biggest, mention it. Yeah, most people didn't mention them in the reviews. Now, now, where I do have to give a little leeway is that the um, the reviewers were sent, like, you know, like notes. They were sent, like, you know, something that they should read. And a lot of these people didn't read the shit. In, in, in the material that the reviewers were supposed to read, um, that information was in there. The reviewers didn't read it, and they just went along without fucking... So... It is also on the reviewers because this information was relayed to them. But within the actual game that they were given, the microtransactions were not there. So, again. Do we know what was on that sheet? Do we know if, if, if it said the, on, on, on the sheet? On the, paper, on the paper, it said, or, or the email, whatever it is, they said that there would be microtransactions. Yeah. But yeah. but did, did it say anything about like you can't discuss this because no you're no it didn't say NDA that it didn't say that. Like that it didn't okay. say that okay well then, then that's on them and acknowledge it exactly and that's why people yeah. are shitting on some reviewers right now too because some of the reviewers are saying yo I didn't see it I didn't know some people are like yo yeah I saw it I just didn't say anything um and those people are getting a lot of shit right now everybody's getting a lot of shit right now because if you saw it and didn't say anything or you didn't see it you weren't paying attention. It's you're still wrong. But Meds, I said the same shit about Helldivers, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be consistent and say the same shit. Again. But Helldivers didn't hide anything. The no, Microsoft, no, it's not about the, the hiding. It's not about the hiding or didn't hide it. The point is, it's a single player game, and if I decide to buy everything in that fucking store, it doesn't affect your game at all. And I've always said that. I don't agree with that. To, but I know. Well, that's good. That's why. That's why we have differences of opinion. I've always said if it affects gameplay. That's when it's a real issue. Because look, at the end of the day, microtransactions are bad, but they're not going anywhere, meds. They're not. Yeah, and again, you say, oh, you me buying the microtransactions doesn't affect your game. Yeah, it doesn't affect Dragon's Dogma 2. It'll affect the next game. Yeah, especially because, if people buy it. Right, buy, right. buy those right, microtransactions. Developers see, <laughs> developers see other games doing it. And they, exactly. And then they go deeper into it the next game. I okay, maybe... That. 
you doing you buying everything in Dragon's Dogma Two doesn't affect my Dragon's Dogma Two experience. But what about Dragon's Dogma Three? I mean, listen, it's not it's not a. Bad I mean, it's gonna be another twelve years before we see that, anyway. Yeah. So. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean that that's Capcom for you. You know they'll they'll, they'll hold on to that IP until Listen, they can do another. It affects one. my unlocks. Listen, bro, fucking I, I I look. I don't understand this shit, bro. I've always said microtransactions are bad for gaming, but again, I will tell you this again, Resign. It affects your unlocks. No, it doesn't. You don't have to buy a single thing. You can play the whole game, Dragon's Dogma, and not buy a single. Literally. Some of the microtransactions in there are literally fucking ridiculous to buy when you earn so much of it. You earn so many of these crystals, there's no reason to go out and buy it. Like, no. the, like people are showing that they finished the game with thousands and thousands of crystals. There's no reason for you to buy this shit. So, I mean, look. Bro. Yeah, I know you had a problem with uh, being able to change your character, Blaze. You can actually go into the 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 main town or whatever and actually get a makeshift like stone or whatever and you can go to the haircut lady and shoot you can change your character okay because i had this fucking different. cracked out kratos looking guy yeah i saw, I, saw. <laughs> like, God, damn, bro. I was all like i was all like dang blaze <laughs> what'd you do to kratos man <laughs> um yo jack by the way i got your shit in see don't say I don't support your ass. There you go. Good quality, brother. You owe me. You owe me a life, anyway. I I got I gotta buy I gotta buy a solid cast sweatshirt, man. You do. I like I like them hoodies, bro. Those those hoodies are fire, dude. You like them shits? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Man. Them yeah. Hey, them shits are selling like fucking happy I, meals, bro. Holy I, I, fuck. You know what? I'm gonna buy one right now, dude. My man. I got yeah, a promo code if you want it too. You know what? I got a twenty percent off promo code if you want it. Yes, nah, y'all motherfuckers I'm better better I'm support my little cosmostrology joint when I fucking create I'm it. Not I'm, I'm, I'm not taking no handouts, Blaze. All right, I'm I'm paying full price, bro. I'm just saying. Hey, hey shout out to Artemis because uh, I don't either. take no handouts either. I, I told Blaze. I'm doing my little self plug. <laughs> this is fucking coming. Meds. No, 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 Meds. You you know what? Actually, I'm glad you brought that up, Meds. What? I see Meds on Twitter. What? Oh, hold on. He, he he going to the Iron Lord oh, show. Oh, oh, oh I, 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 I know what you're going to say. I have a rebuttal. Go on. Okay. He like this. Look at my Iron Lord shirt. I'm like, motherfucker, you haven't bought a shirt from me. I'm just, I'm just wondering. Yeah. What, can I, hey. And then he came on here talking about why he is not hey. on the family plan. Hey, hey. hey, hang, hey, hey the hey, audacity. Hey. You see? You see? Hang, you see? This is why assuming always makes an ass out of you and me okay this is this is why you should never so assume true. this is why you should never assume okay you can ask literally every iron lords member if i bought that shirt they will tell you i did not buy that shirt i got that shirt in a giveaway okay so stop it stop so it immediately you accept my giveaway i gave you a giveaway link for free and you didn't accept it because you know why because it's it's you know you know why because the solid cast is, is it's, it's your business, but it's my business too, okay? Okay. So ultimately, I'm not taking no handouts from the business. I, I need all the money coming in to keep a healthy business going, okay? And I'm not going to take away from the business. <laughs> I'm not taking no handouts, okay? But the Iron Lords podcast is not my business. If they want to give me a fucking free t-shirt, I'll accept it gladly. And I did. And I wore it to the fucking event. By the way, an amazing event. Iron Lords killed it. Shout out to them. Uh, shout out to the Iron Lords. Uh, they do good. Shout out to Iron Lords, man. Shout out to what, David. What, what, what size fun. should I buy, Blaze? What size? Uh, I I bought an XL. Strictly bought buy it smaller because he likes. Are they baggy? Bigger. Are they baggy? It's it's a fit. It's fitted, bro. It's going to fit you right. So like, okay. You know well, then, then I'm gonna buy a three XL because because right. because I'm a big boy. So. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Shout out yeah. to the big dogs, man. I, I, but but I also like I like them baggy. I don't I I don't like the fitted ones because the fitted ones I feel like I, I look like a fucking marshmallow, you know, fucking wearing that shit, you know. Um, Jack yeah, bought yeah. a sweater. Joker. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you the size he got, brother. But 
Shout out I'm buying. Um, yeah, dude. Bro, I wore my Jack Smooth hoodie like one time, bro. It's it's forty six dollars for the three XL, bro. What are you doing, bro? You no, fucking that's not me. trying to yeah, trying to get five more dollars out of me? That's not me. I told you I give you a twenty percent off code. No, bro. man, I'm good. Dude. I'm just fucking. Bro, that, you know I didn't notice that if if you buy a hoodie, the bigger I guess no, the, the bigger, bigger size. size. I, I'm used to that, dude. I'm used to it because because like I I buy like I got fourteen foot fucking shoe you know 14 inch shoe you know i gotta buy because i got big fucking feet right so like i can't find shoes but then if i want to find shoes i gotta freaking pay extra to find shoes you know so i'm I'm used to it yeah shout out to everybody with a small foot that can still squeeze into a kid's jordan and pay half the price <laughs> there's people out there that ask is that you blaze can you fit in a, in no, a kid's I wish, jordan bro. i wish man <laughs> yeah facts 12 fast size 12 gang over here size 12? 12 dang man you must got a pogo stick too holy shit, <laughs> hey, just, hey listen you you, you see what you in my inbox <laughs> you see what you in my inbox see, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a size 10 but i'm a size 10 w you feel me oh you wide I'm wide oh you wide so, yeah, yeah. So, so you chodish then you know yeah yeah you, i got the, i got that monster <laughs> can situation going on you know? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and, and you asking for donations too, Blaze? What the man, this dude? I Yo, Blaze will shame you if you're not doing it. He will shame your ass. No, you talking about the website? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, if you if you start no, a website on Fourth it. Wall, it's uh, it's like there, like it's this their stuff. Yeah, yeah. They just put that there for the creator. Well, it's because um, they want you. They want. Do they do they make a a percentage off of your your merch? They do. How much? It, it depends. Lot. I see. I had the sweaters at like initially like twenty eight dollars, and I was only mm-hmm. making like six dollars. Oh. So somebody was like, somebody came up to me like, "Blaze, you need to sell your sweaters for more money." Like, why is everybody else selling sweaters for fifty dollars? Like, because I'm looking at it, like I said, I looked at it like, why would you buy my sweater for forty dollars when you can go buy a Nike sweater for sixty? Right. You know. So that's how I was looking at it. But they're like, "Nah, fuck that, Blaze. Go click on anybody's merch site, and they're not even good quality. Like these shits are stitched in." Yeah. You know what I mean, like the other other people that just got printed on shit and they're selling it for fifty dollars. Like fuck that. So, like Blaze, if you make a sale like that, if you make a substantial sale like that, you want to at least make it worth it. You want to make at least fifteen dollars, ten dollars, or else what's the fucking point? Yeah, and, especially if they got stitching like that, bro. You you definitely want to make more money off. No, no, of well, you'll stuff. see, bro. And listen, if the if I give you your money back, if the quality, no, 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 I promise you, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll hang it on the wall. I'll put it. I'll put it on the display. You know. I appreciate wow. you, bro. No, <laughs> you're, you're a real one, bro. You're a real one. Somebody says small feet energy. I hate to see it. Small feet. <laughs> <laughs> that that's how I feel about these weirdos on Twitter, man. They just got small feet. That's that's how I feel. That's about the, them. that that's definitely what they got. Speaking of uh, <laughs> small feet. Oh dear. Let's talk about that has nothing to do with feet at all. The PlayStation Five Pro. <laughs> um. There's a lot of pushback on the PlayStation 5 Pro and people, are, well, I don't know if it's mostly Xbox guys or even PlayStation guys I've seen say that, you know, what's the point? The console's been out for what? How many years now? Four years? It's going to be four, yeah. By the time and it comes out, four, yeah. They're saying, what's the point? Just just save, you know, just just put out a P- PS6 in, in like six, seven years. You know, fuck the mid-gen refresh. What's the point? These games, they're you know, developers are still gonna not optimize games. But I think that's that's the key right there. If if we're talking first party, it's not an issue. But when it comes to third party games and these developers not fully optimizing these games, having the extra horsepower can maybe make up and help out that situation. You know what I'm saying, Meds? It's like a not I do, but I don't. Game on Carry PC. On. Like, say a game on PC comes out and it's not optimized, but you got a 4090. You can almost brute force through it. You right, know I mean? right. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. But No, I understand that, yeah. But do I think a PS5 Pro is necessary? Um, Yes. Yes. I'm always going to say yes to new hardware. I'm always... I, I said this when people were crying and saying, oh, my God, Assassin's Creed Valhalla run 60 it has better settings than the pc version really it did in terms of vegetation i don't know why that was the case that's just what ubisoft oh, yeah. decided to do uh that's a one-off two thing by the way that you're, you're never gonna see that again um but i was telling people like yo don't get used to the 60 fps thing like games are gonna come yeah. out they're gonna be more ambitious developers are gonna want to sell the game and try to bring you in with the beautiful magical graphics and 
and we're gonna go right back. It's we're all like as a console guy, you gotta understand you might reach that point where you're getting 60 fps but again they're gonna always push the envelope new engines they're gonna add more shit they're gonna make things more visually impressive and you're gonna be back in the same boat where games are just so demanding that you take a step back down to the 30 or the fidelity or whatever so in my opinion i do think we need a ps5 pro um for 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 having better games for better frame rates people are talking about ak you're fucking crazy just forget about it but I do think it's it's nice to have native resolutions, you know, um, and you know with Sony's new super super scaling thing and and having a dynamic res that's gonna, I guess, change the game. We'll see. Um, but I, I have no problem with the PS5 Pro, and I absolutely think we need it. I do. I think the PS5 has already topped out. If we're talking, yeah. like I said, if we're talking third party, even first party, I think the PS5 Pro is already topped out. They've already hit hit the potential of it. But that Pro but, is not going to that Pro is not going to be for people like that just want to get a PS5 and just play games. PS5, no, it's Pro, for the hardcore. It's for the Pro's going to be for people like me and, and Blaze who it's, are like it's for people wanna... who are. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Doc. Carry on. I'm no, sorry. no, go I'm ahead, sorry. go ahead, man. No, you're good. No, no. Dude. No, you go, man. Damn it. Fine. No, no, you're right. <laughs> Essentially, you're right. Exactly. The, the the console is for people who are listening to this show, people who are on the show. It's for us. The regular the regular degular um consumer's not gonna buy this. And PS4 Pro numbers support that. I think PlayStation at the end they didn't they never said the exact number of PS4s pros that were sold, but they said that it was like less than one in five of the total number of the PS4. It was it was a very low number. Um, Matt, that doesn't mean that it's though? yeah. If a PS5 Pro is let's say five fifty six hundred dollars, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. And a regular PS4 is five hundred. You know what I mean? What I if you're a first time buyer, you have to go the Pro. Why would right, you buy the right. fi- yeah? Why? But a lot yeah, of yeah, people right. won't be a first time buyer, right? A lot of people, a lot of the hardcore are just gonna pick it up just because. God, I didn't mean to cut you. I just thought just thoughts on that. No shit, that's that's fine. Um, shit, I cut off dark. So, um, no, yeah, th- this is not going to be a large seller. It's it's going to be like I said for the hardcore, the people who listen to podcasts and fucking care about this kind of stuff. And ultimately, like you said, oh, AK out of the question, bro. They put AK on the box for the original one. Yeah, Mark. It's it's, a, it's on the box. And and yeah, you're not going to get no. Um, let me just rattle off all my thoughts here so I don't interrupt nobody going forward. But uh, PS4, PS5 Pro is not needed, but, dude, it's welcome. I'm not going to say no to new hardware. And, yeah, Blaze, it's like it's like people are like, oh, they're going to come out with a PS5 Pro. They haven't even topped out the consoles that we have now. <sighs> guys, I'm sorry. The only people who say this shit is console guys. I'm telling you right now, if if we still had potential to be tapped out from these consoles, then why the fuck do we have performance and, and, and fidelity modes? If 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 we had all the power we needed, we wouldn't need performance modes. Yet here we are, we have them. Why? Because the consoles don't have the power we want. They don't have the power we need. And look at Dragon's Dogma 2. Even on PC, people are struggling. We need more power. Straight up, we need more power. Now, the PS5 Pro, I don't think, is providing that much more power because they said that the CPU is pretty much the same. So I don't really know, like for example, Dragon's Dogma 2, this is a CPU thing. Like, you upping your GPU is not going to make your Dragon's Dogma experience any better. It's still going to be the same. So, ultimately, with the same CPU, maybe 10% stronger. They said they could overclock it by 10%. That's not a big jump. I'm a PC guy. I overclock shit all the time. 10% overclock doesn't mean 10% jump in performance. That's not what that means. Um, So, yeah. So, I'm happy it's coming. It's not needed. But we actually also need even more than that. The PS5 Pro is not enough. But also to that, Mez, Meds, is that people act like someone's going to put a gun to their head and tell them to buy it. And it's like, bro, no it's one's doing that. It's up to you. What's the Strict. complaint? You know, I want, I want Strictly's opinion, bro. You, you uh, definitely got to buy that, Strict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like this, it comes down to the crush in games, to be completely honest. Um, I mean, they're still making games for the for the PS4, so it's like I don't really know how they're really going to make make 
games look crazy for the PS5 or really truly take advantage of the PS5 Pro since they're not even doing it for the PS5 yet. That's that's really my only opinion on it, but I'm going to get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of course. Like, I'm going to get it. Uh, I mean, simple as that, you know, but it's really for the enthusiasts. It's made for the enthusiasts, plus PlayStation knows people going to buy it, so why the fuck wouldn't they put out a Pro? Really, it's... Just, the PS4 I mean, Pro... If you had it, you seen the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you did, and not, and, and I'm not talking, I'm not talking frame rate necessarily. I'm talking just in terms of resolution. Playing like it, you seen the just difference, playing right? it, like yeah. playing that shit. You, there was a clear difference between the PS4 Pro and the PlayStation 4. There was like this. There was. I don't need to sit there and look at the frames. I don't need to count pixels. I don't gotta do none of that. I could sit there. I went from the PS4 to the PS4 Pro, and it was a significant difference in performance and graphical fidelity. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely getting the PS5 Pro. No cap on that. Yo, shout out to my guy, Boston Lau, bro. I see you. Um, Joseph, man. Joseph, listen, bro. Just change your name to fucking Phil Spencer because there's no way, bro. Listen. Yeah. We not arguing with nobody in the chat with bubbles. With oh, the is, he, is, he, is, he, is he is he arguing? We right not now? we not we yeah, not debating Joe, with nah, nobody nah, with yeah, bubbles yeah. in the letter. Listen, Joe, talk your shit, bro. I'm not mad at. Look, you you don't. I never. I have a PS5. I never touch it. I mean, listen, bro. PS4 did kill it. I can say the same thing about my Xbox right here, a Series X Halo Edition. Um, I hate Xbox. Oh, okay. So you're a PC guy then. Or Nintendo, I don't know. But the thing is, I don't touch my Xbox unless Meds is crying to play fucking Halo 5 or UFC. I don't touch it. We're going to beat that game, and we're never going to fucking play Xbox again. We're done. We're done with Xbox because, yeah. you know why I don't use my Xbox? Because there's no fucking reason to boot up my Xbox because I have an Xbox every time I sit down on my computer. Yeah. And that's, and yeah. that's the slippery slope Sony yep. is going to fucking find out, bro. They're going to find out real quick. I'm going to sit on my ass. And play these fucking PlayStation games on PC if they want to do that. Is it that remind me? I seen uh, I don't know how um I don't know either how true it is or when this happened. It might I might be late to this, but um I seen the show going to PC. It might be the show. Dude, yeah. I don't think they're oh, gonna put it? it on PC. Wait, did they say it? I seen P Rock say it, so I mean oh, um, dude, I hope so, but I don't think it's coming because sports games actually don't do well on PC. They don't do well on PC. That's why UFC still is, not, is still. It might be the show. It might be crazy on PC, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, listen, I would, I would welcome it. I would be so excited. But I, know, I get I, what you mean. I get what you I'm mean. I'm not holding my breath. I, I would love that, UFC man. on PC. I would love that would be the show on PC. But I don't think it's gonna happen. No, UFC's they, not on PC. It. UFC's mod not it. on PC. Buy another version. Nope. That's the thing. Uh, PC is not the place for sports games. It's not. Yeah, it's because somebody. I'm sorry, Dark, but somebody says NBA is on PC, though. Yeah, but guess what? I, I could be mistaken, but this That's year's 2K might have... Yeah, I was going to say, this year's 2K might have been the first 2K that they actually put the next-gen 2K on PC. And actually, it might not even have happened yet. It might be delayed till next year. People on PC have been playing PS4 and Xbox One 2K for yeah, years now. That's embarrassing. Because they don't, put the, they don't put the true experience on PC because, again... PC is not the place for sports games. I'm a big PC guy. I'm always going to shout out PC. PC is the shit. But for sports games, it's not the place. Um, I don't, and that, and I agree with Rev. He's, I don't need a, I don't need a launch game for me to buy PS4 Pro, uh, PS5 Pro. Uh, just like I didn't need it on the PS4 yeah. Pro. There was uh -huh. no, there was no game attached to PS4 Pro. Yeah, Horizon. Came the upgrade, out. the upgrade, the upgrade is enough. The upgrade yeah. is the reason we are buying that shit. That's it. Period. Like, period. Well, <laughs> if, there's, if there's anybody out there right. that is expecting a, a launch game for the PS5 Pro, then you're out of your mind. Then they're crazy. Because yeah, that's crazy. not. Then it's not for you. It's it's for it's for the enthusiasts. Like, we've and for the people, saying. for the people in the back, he's saying don't expect it. He didn't say not a launch game was coming. He said he's not expecting expect a game. For the people in the back who like to play wordplay, because we know people are gonna be like, "Oh, on a podcast, he said that we're not gonna <laughs> yeah. get." So he didn't say we're not gonna get one. He said not to expect it. <laughs> For the people in the back, <laughs> yeah, because because people take things out of context all the time. It's all crazy. the time. I love it. <clears throat> all the time. Straight up. Um, let me see. Do I got these? Uh, let me read these yet. What you looking at? Super I chats? just got the super chats. Yeah, I just want to. All right, cool. 
Whole Classic Cage with the five. Appreciate you, pimp. Rise of Ronin is just not a $70 game. That's exactly what I was saying. Like Suicide Squad, like Forspoken, like Gotham Knights, like sports games. Too many of these $70 frauds. I can't dis- I can't agree more. And Kai. Yeah. Uh, I think it's time that we embrace a gaming industry where things are just priced differently. and We just don't have a standard price for everything. I don't think it's crazy if GTA 6 costs $100. Are you guys going to not buy it? Of course oh, you're gonna buy GTA a hundred dollars. Of course you're gonna GTA buy six. GTA six can literally be a hundred dollars. I mean, look, this is the thing too. People will sit there and complain about a hundred dollars games, but how many people bought collectors editions of games which are clearly more exactly. than a hundred dollars? Exactly. And All and the at time. the end of the day, strict, it's justified. GTA six is gonna keep your attention. Yeah. You're going to love it. Um, it's gonna keep your attention for like for twenty years. years. To come, <laughs> and it's worth it. It's worth it. A hundred dollars for GTA. I don't think it's crazy. I don't. I don't. It's I not, don't think, bro. It's not. If GTA, they can literally come. Well, I'm putting this on record, bro. They can literally come on and be like, "Yo, GTA six two hundred. Okay, you're getting two hundred dollars." Yo, see now, <laughs> now that's that's your statement. I'm gonna let you on that. No, I, I, because okay, I'm well, saying I'm gonna, that because I'm going to pay for GTA six. Me too. Yeah, regardless of the price. And the thing is, that's what I'm saying. Um, some games are worth more than that. How many games have you played and you're like, God damn, if I could have paid more for that game, I would. That game was so worth and, it. Fire. Yeah. And look what you're like, honestly, bro, like, let's be honest, man. More than likely, most people at this point, when you get GTA 6, yeah, you're going to play the story mode, but you're going straight to online after that. Like, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to be playing online heavy because I hopped on GTA 5 online late and I put in like 800 hours in that shit. Yeah. I did the Doomsday Heist and everything. You know GTA what I'm saying? 6. So, like, GTA 6 online is going to be in fucking insane. That's a 10-year game. That's a game, yeah, like, like, if you're really into it, you're going to play it for 10 years. I don't think $100 is too much to ask, and honest, honestly, because, for example, let's say Forspoken, right? Forspoken. I'm just picking a random game. What's that, a 12-hour game? <laughs> you're going to pay... Crazy, bro. You think, Yo, hold you on. Think... I'll let... My bad. Go ahead. I'm laughing. I saw the way I'm calling it. I'm just saying, last thing, you, did, are, did you get the same amount of value out of fucking Forspoken did you, that you did out of fucking GTA 5? Of course not. Of course not. Yeah. So come on. These games are obviously not worth the same. They're not. They're not. They're not. Every game, like, see, Helldivers was like 40 bucks, whatever. And I'm like, you know what? Shit, I would have gave him 60. Now, now that I played the final product. I, I really enjoy How Divers is a sixty dollar game. In I'm not opinion, mad at that either. Yeah. I'm not mad at you saying that. I think I, I do think I do think we're at a point though, like a seventy dollar game go out. Listen, I, I agree with Cass, like certain and not every game is the same, but seventy, sixty, like these games are just they're coming off of seventy dollars. Like it's just it's just that's what they're gonna be for now on. So like what is even the sense? You know what I mean? Every game comes out with seventy dollars, bro. Like, like if if they're like claiming to be uh, in anywhere in the AAA space, they're gonna be seventy dollars, bro. You know what I mean? For the most part, and I just feel like that's that's just what it is now. Like, so I don't know, man. I, I just love your don't cat, man. Big deal. No, I did that in Rise of Ronin like five times. Shout out to your cat. Yeah, he's crazy. Um. I'm Rev says, cat soon. GTA 6 is going to be trash, dude. I'm going to watch. I'm going to be a bitch for you. Rev, first of all, I just want to stop you in your tracks. You are saying this, but at the same time, Rev, you are going to be the first person to pre-order, download that game, and play it. So, yeah, yeah, you might be right, but you're going to be playing this shit day one, Rev. Let's be honest, huh? Day one. Bro. I'm trying to see the chick twerking on my fucking whip. When I'm driving down the street I don't think in a I strip clubs and everything, bro. Like, <laughs> I was gonna say, isn't okay. Rev playing no, uh, Rev. Horizon Zero Dawn still gonna right play now? It. You won't pre-order. You're right, but you'll still play it day one. Yeah, he and doesn't need up. to pre-order. He'll get it from you. No, no, we don't game share no more. Oh, you don't? Oh, no. I moved on to bigger and better. <laughs> <laughs> you we got better people Steam, though. we gain share on steam yeah uh, see he he already knows you're gonna buy it probably you don't need to because you know that game's gonna come to pc at some point not right away not the probably day one but it's gonna come 
I don't know. I, I just don't think anybody... I feel like nobody in this chat is like, I'm not buying GTA. Like, I just don't believe anybody that says they're not buying. No, no. There is no way gonna buy it. I wasn't going to buy GTA. Honestly, I really... I truly wasn't because I didn't think GTA 5 was lit, but... I played it on stream a few months ago yeah, and I changed it. my yeah, I changed my mind. I really like GTA five and I will be purchasing GTA six. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I just don't believe if you're somebody in the chat and you're not gonna play it, you're lying. I swear you're lying. I'm sorry. I just think you're lying, bro. There's, There's no, no way, way I'm missing out on GTA six. No, There's no no, no one no one in the right mind's gonna miss out on GTA. Is just, uh, there's yeah. no, there's no if ands or buts about it. And, and even if, it. even if, like you said, strict. Even if the game came out at two hundred dollars, you're still gonna buy it. Like I'm in the same boat. I'll still buy it if it's two hundred dollars. I am. But, <laughs> but that's I think that's two hundred. I mean, I mean, it, I mean, it is a lot. Yes, but that's the thing. Like GTA has that effect on people that where people are like, I'll fork over the money because I know I'm gonna. Get my money's worth out of it. I'm just being real about like I'm I'm being real with myself with that. There's a certain yeah. there's certain experiences that there's not really. I mean, I hate to put it like this, but there's not necessarily a monetary cap for me. You know what I'm saying? And you know, in reality, in regards to what we're talking about, you know, games like of course it's not going to be two hundred off rip. But what I'm saying is like it's GTA Six. You know what I'm saying? So realistically, it's not going to be two hundred. But if it was, I'm still gonna fucking pay it. It's GTA Six. Yeah, and, nine, and just nine like and it's just like Metal Gear. Like if Metal Gear came out and was the crazy, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay for I, that. It's Metal Gear. I would Gear. pay a hundred for a Metal Gear Two. I wouldn't pay two hundred, but I would pay a hundred for a Metal Gear game. I'll pay whatever for Metal Gear Solid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just like I would GTA Six, because it's just it's it's not only the nostalgia per se, man, but it's it's what I'm getting out of the game. Yeah. It's the experiences I'm getting out of the game, like because if you're measuring it to like. You can't really measure it because it's too. Think about it. If the game is two hundred, but you get a crazy ass experience, like look how look how much you're getting with GTA Six Online. I mean, just that in yeah. itself, to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, do I understand a person not wanting to play two hundred for it? Of course I do. But for me, and understanding the value that I know I'm gonna get from it, two hundred ain't gonna be shit. Yeah, well, bro, it's also you're get so it's, much time in that game, bro. And 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 Nine Ball saying, oh. Other companies will, you know, you'll, will get idea. Listen, the thing is, no, they fucking no, they won't, won't because you know because what? A lot of these people, fucking rock star, bro. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yep. exactly. These people put their fucking games a hundred, two hundred dollars, and they fucking go triple styrofoam. Get no, no. Yeah. Rockstar can do this. Nobody, nobody else can do that. <laughs> you, no, no, few yeah. others, few others can do this. Maybe, maybe Naughty Dog can charge ninety for their games. Bro, nobody's getting away with $100 for their games other than fucking Rockstar. And again, that's the that's the kind of shit that I'm talking about because uh, I don't know, man. I think um I think uh I even though I'm personally not in the Souls games, but who made Elden Ring? Uh the fucking from software. From software, they, they from software could definitely get away get get, get $100. Mad, you never know. I think they might be able to. Yeah, from so, software again, again, can get again, away with $100. But 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 look who you look at the name you just said, bro. FromSoft got the juice. Mm. FromSoft got the juice. FromSoft can do it. Naughty Dog can do it. Fucking maybe even Call of Duty might be able to do it. But come on. Rise of Ronin? $100? $150? Are you insane? Yeah, nobody. Dragon's Dogma? Yeah, nobody, are man. you crazy? No. Motherfuckers not really going to pay 70 for that. <laughs> Let alone. Exactly. Like, yeah, 100 they, they I mean, I paid 80 for the Dragon's Dogma, but that's just me. I, I like buying the deluxe editions of games. So I already yeah. I already spent a hundred dollars on my games most of the time because I, I just like having the extra shit or whatever. But that's just me, you know. But nah, nobody's paying a hundred fifty for fucking Far Cry. Nobody. It's not, it's not fucking happening. No, 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 Ubisoft, no, absolutely not. Ubisoft is. I don't even know how Ubisoft is getting away with seventy at this point. I generally don't, nah, bro. With Ubisoft, the bullshit bro, they've been putting out lately. No, nah, I love UB, but the, they've been putting out bullshit lately. No, they have. Yeah. They have, but fucking. I'm, bro, I just can't, bro. I just like too many of their games, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I like... love UB. I love UB, but bro, for that last game they put out, hundred, are you are you nuts? That Avatar game, <laughs> brother. Yeah, yeah, definitely not, definitely not. You're right. I feel like Blaze would sell his soul for Elden Ring too. That's what that's what I feel like. You know, I would. 
<laughs> you know, yeah, I would. <laughs> hey man, stop, look, Solid Rev looks so happy in his fucking picture. I just, I just looked at the picture. He still got it though. He looks so fucking happy, bro. That's a real. He looks, he looks happy. <laughs> that looks like looks like Rev before he got it. If you had a bicep that big, wouldn't you be happy? Mm. Look at that fucking bicep. I, I'm just happy. Period. Just being me, man. I don't. Know. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I would love to be me, but with way, way bigger biceps. That, that's also well. Yeah. <laughs> Hit them yeah, curls, think, man. Hit them curls. You feel me? I think a lot oh. of you would buy GTA for a hundred. I think, like Med said, there's a few, there's few in between that can sell it a game for for you know. A lot of people pay a hundred just to play a game early, and sometimes yeah. I've I've, yeah. I've fallen into that trap where I'm like. Nah, you know, whatever. Like, let's say Need for Speed three day early access. I I might fuck around and do that just because, you know, we love Need for Speed. And by the way, and by the way, yeah, gotta say this. A lot of people in the chat are talking like I'm crazy. This is literally the gaming market in the '90s. In the '90s, you didn't buy Street Fighter Two for the same price as you paid for Mega Man. That's true. The games were priced differently because the cartridges had different chips inside, that they had different capabilities. So literally, the manufacturing costs more. So sometimes you had to pay one hundred and twenty dollars for a game. That's how it was. That's not nothing new. I'm not introducing anything out of the ordinary. No, they, they're probably young, man. They don't. They, they don't. They didn't live. Know. They didn't live through that that era of where we had to pay like a hundred dollars for our games, if, especially the good ones. Like they didn't live through that. So that's why they're talking like that. But it's like. For me personally, like any from software game, I'll fucking shoot. I'll fucking. And I want to hear shit from fucking Resign BC who pays twenty dollars for skins. Okay. Yeah, bro. Resign. Resign. You're the last person to ever talk about video game pricing. You pay thirty dollars to play as Eminem in Fortnite. You are dismissed. (laughs) You are dismissed. (laughs) Opinion discarded. Yeah. Anybody who pays that much for a free to play game, come on, man. Yo, no, nah, Resign be paying, yo, he'll pay $150 for Mortal Kombat Ultimate Edition, and he drops it in a week, brother. You good? Holy bro, shit. Crazy. And you know what's crazy? He acts like he's doing himself favors in the chat. He goes, for a free-to-play game that I barely play? So you're telling me that you pay $30 for Eminem in a game that you don't even play? Mm. All right, great. Anywho, it sounds like he's it sounds like he's pocket watching right now. I, I, I love resign, but I love no, resign. But he, resign's our guy, bro. It's just I uh, love resign. He's my boy, but bro, opinion discarded. I love you, bro. But no. Um Ace McLean with the 10. I finally got a PS5 a month ago. Can't wait to play Stellar Blade. Yo, that's what's up, bro. Facts. Now, I, I can't believe Stellar Blade is the one that made you buy a PS5, but that's that's still that's dope. Play Horizon Forbidden West and Miles Morales, bro. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple of games you could play. Returnal for sure, definitely play Returnal. Nah, you're gonna enjoy that. I'm uh, I'm glad you got one. And here's the thing about Rev talking about he wouldn't pay 200. If they put out Max Payne 4, oh. this man would fucking <laughs> pay 500. I'm telling Yo, you, that Max Payne remake gonna go crazy too. I know. I can't wait for that, bro. I can't wait for Max Payne remake. Oh yeah, the remake. Hell yeah, oh, I, I love, it's, I love Max Payne, man. They might fuck it's it up. Gonna go they dumb. might, they might. Nah, they're not gonna. Hey, that's up. another one. Not, that's another one. I give you a hundred dollars, and I'm paying a hundred dollars for the Max Payne remake. Like, it's Max Payne we talk about. I'd pay a grand like, for Max Payne four. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if, if if they had a if if they had come out with the remake and they have like tiers of where they you can buy like the a hundred dollar version, I'll probably buy that. By the way, they um they said that um the Alan the not the Alan Wake uh the Max Payne remakes are gonna have pretty much the same budget as they had for Alan Wake two, so these are gonna be full fledged, real deal fucking games. Yeah, no. Um, good, good, good fucking combos, and I like I like I like when people are just honest, man. Just say what you would do, bro. Who gives a fuck what somebody in the chat thinks of you? Fuck it, just say it. You yeah. know, you, hey, I would do this. Fuck it, stand on it. Who gives a fuck? Because no one knows these people. Well, no one knows the majority of these people in the chat. And even if you did, still stand on what the Hold fuck on. you got like, to say. Hold on, like strict. That don't even if meds. If I knew meds and he didn't like that, whatever. That's how you ain't let me finish. I was just about to say, even yeah. if you did, you know what I'm saying, still stand on it. I'm definitely yeah. still standing on what the fuck I'm gonna say. <clears throat> yeah, gotta be that way, bro. Yeah, facts. 
I spend I spend money on the dumbest shit, but I buy because I want it. You know, bro. Yeah. I spent thirteen hundred on that Ghost of Tsushima uh, statue. It's a badass statue, dude. Oh, so, there's that. <laughs> so, Brad, how much? How much? Like I would spend that much on a brother. fucking statue like that. Oh, Hell yeah. Shit. You know what I'm saying? So. Hey, we, Rev, you got Max Payne Four right here, ready to go. And you gotta. The only way to play it is by putting a pee in your mouth, Rev. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was waiting for it. I was waiting you for it. Gotta do, brother. I was waiting Rev, for it. Rev, Rev won't do it. Rev won't do it. So you put him. This is. <laughs> you put. You're putting him between a rock and a hard place. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't mean that figuratively. He means that literally. <laughs> nah, but yeah, listen, at the end of the day, I think everybody's willing to um, pay what they want for the shit that they truly want. Um, me and Blaze talk about this shit all the time because um, my my online persona makes it seem that like I don't buy any games or that I'm so cheap. To... And the thing is, it's just because, I I mean, it's not, it's not a lie. I am cheap and I don't want to pay a lot of money on games. But it's not because... I don't have the money. It's, bro, I, there's a lot of things I love. Gaming isn't my life. Right, gaming, exactly. gaming is like the third, the second, third, fourth thing that I, recently, I like to enjoy in life. Recently. Not recently, Blaze. This oh, has always shit. been this way. This has always been this way, Blaze. Always. I put you onto a fucking Blaise. electric scooter and you've never been the same. Man. Blaze, That's Blaze, truth. Blaze. Before that, I invested thousands into fucking training. I used to spend thousands onto going onto trips to fucking learn jujitsu from random. Red. That's true. That's true. That's right. Like, I, I did forget about that. That's true. I, I, but, I spend money on shit that I love. And even though like, oh, $60 for this game is too steep. I'll spend $4,000 on a fucking bicycle. No question. How about this save? Things are in cycles, man. Like things are in cycles. Sometimes you go on drop something, and sometimes you're gonna be in something else for just another. That's just what it. That's just what it is. Because something else just be having your your energy. You know what I'm saying? I bike a lot. We yeah, work out a lot. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We into and, other and, and strict. I bet you the bike you ride ain't no cheap fucking five hundred dollar bike. Later, I right. bet you no. ride a two thousand, three thousand dollar bike. Don't you? It's it's not two K, but my bike was definitely twelve hundred. Exactly. Exactly. You ride a nice bike. Yeah, because it's one of the one you know with the gear shifters on the handles and shit, like and, and maintenance on your bike and all of that, man. But it's it's so fun and it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like you get out and nature, yeah, and all of that, bro. I'll tell like, you what, one, one, I'm gonna tell you a secret. My uh my kids got like bikes a long time ago and they never used it because it was too small. But so I get on the bike and I'm going up the street and I'm like, I get halfway up the street, and I'm like, God damn, this shit used to be so like I don't remember this shit being this hard, bro. I'm like, <laughs> that's because you, that, that, you, you're, you're not used to it, bro. You're that's old why. and out of practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, you're out of practice. I used to go everywhere, uphill, don't matter. I'm like, God damn, like the, the shit that when I used to ride a bike, you used to like turn the, like just push this little thing to change the gear. And now this shit's all like button. You just push it. <laughs> when he was and doing that, I thought he had like a little bell on his bike. He's I like, ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to yeah, Boston yeah. like that. <laughs> once you, once you get those, once you get those, like first of all, the bikes be fast. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't gotta take your hands off of the shits. Like you'll be riding about 15 fucking miles, and you, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's just a vibe, yeah. yo. No, but you yeah. feel I mean, good. I bet when you come back when you, from that bike ride, you probably feel so good. Like ah, uh, you feel incredible, yeah. bro. You feel it's bro. sucked while you're doing it, and then afterwards, you're like, fuck yeah. Yeah, like literally, especially before you get before you like get warmed up. But like, I'll work out first. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'll hit the bench. I'll do some dips and pull ups. You know what I'm saying? Then I'll rest for like 20 minutes, and then I'll get on my bike and do like the leg thing. You know what I'm saying? And usually, like, if I go on the trail by my crib, it's like an eight mile. It's like eight miles. But if I go to like another trail, you know what I'm saying? In Raleigh, it'd be like 13 to 15 miles. You know what I'm saying? It depends. But you really feel good after the fact. You get back. You take a shower. You eat like a nice. A nice meal that gives you energy, you know what I'm saying? That refuels you and shit. Like you can't when you do that for so long, like your body loved that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's it's different. Strict. I had no idea you worked out, man. I I can't tell, bro. Look at this guy. I can't, I can't even tell. No, oh, oh, okay, never mind. He's being he's being <laughs> hella sarcastic. <laughs> just, just, just sitting there shredded as shit, just fucking. You know, I, I don't work out, bro. I'm gonna tell you, the, 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 like the real trick is the real trick for people is to yeah. find something you enjoy doing that includes fitness, bro. Right. Like once you really find something you enjoy doing, yeah. you won't even notice you're working out. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. Dancing is fitness. 
You know what I'm saying? For Absolutely. Yep. Like, I like to walk, so I mean that's the cheapest. Bro, get your ass you know, on a fucking nice little forty-five minute walk. No, um, man, I, I go, I go walking all the time, man. I'm always walking. When it comes to fitness. My only advice to everybody, I mean, listen, look at me. I'm not the fittest guy out there. Who am I to be fucking telling you what to do? But um, I was fit in the past, <laughs> and I can tell you how I did it. Um, I don't think it's a matter of um, doing a ton of working out. Just if you do a little bit of working out 30, 45 minutes every day, yeah. that's all you need. As long as you do it every day. Just a little bit every day goes a long fucking way, even if it's just a walk. Like it goes a long way, and as and the and the cool thing about it is that it's just like a video game, where you know you go around, you fight a bunch of level five pidgeys. Eventually, you're level ten, and you can fight fucking level ten pidgeys. You know what I mean? Yeah. And right. be patient. Like, that's the problem, man. I start doing that, I'm gonna be like a video game. I start dropping frame rate, and like yeah, this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you, you gotta be patient. You gotta be patient with you yourself. You gotta be patient because the games come. Yeah, and, and 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 anything, I'm gonna be honest, man. Anything that gives you fast results is not the one for you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not long lasting. Like you don't want fast results. I know we condition to want fast results. Fast results are not good for you, hence why people because a person will say, you know, you could lose this amount of weight in two weeks, but they're not telling you the amount of fucking shit they put in their system to make it get there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like you gotta be patient with yourself. And rest is very rest is important too. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Like you gotta you gotta listen to your body when it needs rest. Like when you start to work out and you you're just not feeling it, listen to your body. Yeah, you yeah. know. But yeah, just you're not patient. a bitch. I, uh, just rest. I, I did. Uh, I did keto hey. for a while, right? And uh, yeah. and, and 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 keto, you know, you lose a lot of weight really quickly, right? But then I was all like, okay, I'm gonna get off of keto, bro. I was eating fucking donuts i was eating fucking dude i was eating all kinds of shit right like like after i got out of a keto and then like all my weight came back right i'm just like see that kind of thing like you're saying straight is not good for 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 somebody like me right like where yeah. i can't i can't lose weight fast and then and then expect the results you know and then and then stick with it you know so and, and yeah go ahead no, go ahead no go ahead and finish i'm gonna cut you off no go ahead man so and, and one first of all, before I touch on that, Solid Snake mentioned rollerblading. How many people see me put up the video on fucking Twitter of me skating? Like I get back into skating and yeah, like if you skate for an hour, you're definitely burning calories. No cap. I'd be at the skating rink, you know what I'm saying? Skating, I'd be listening to my little Apple music, I'd be in the zone. So that is another thing. But uh, also, man, like they a lot of a lot of systems, a lot of things are meant to really manipulate you in a way you think in regards to this shit. Why do you okay. think? Think about it. You go to the donut shop and you'll get six donuts for like ten dollars. You know what I'm saying? But you'll go to the grocery store, get a freaking pack of cantaloupe and some strawberries, and that shit's gonna be like twelve to thirteen dollars. So ask yourself, why is it more expensive to to eat healthy than it is to eat like shit? Because they don't want you to be fucking healthy. Yeah, they want to. You know, what I'm saying? man. Us. Why is a cheeseburger cheaper than a fucking head of lettuce? Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, yo. You know what I'm saying? So really think about that. You got to use your, like, use your will. You know what I'm saying? Like, really mm -hmm. think about yeah. that because they don't want you to. They do not want you. When I mean they, I mean the elites. I mean America, whatever you want to call it. But y'all know what, what I'm talking about. Like, they don't want you to be great. But you want to be great. So go against the grain. Be a rebel on that shit. Straight up. And find fun ways to get find fun ways to do it because a lot of people probably do like skating because they did it as a kid. They just been so busy grinding. We've been so you know taught to be busy all the time and like you know grind all the fucking time that you forget what you enjoy doing. You know what I'm saying? But once no, you really start true. tapping back into that energy, I'm telling bro, you, bro, I, I I enjoy skateboarding, so I still skateboard. Yes, sir. Like, I get I get a workout from doing that, man. I mean, yeah, it's not like a strenuous workout, but I get a I get a pretty good workout. Oh, you're it. up, you're standing up, you're on your feet, dude, you're doing dude, yeah. Something. Yeah. The the problem with most people blood is that flow, they just sit flow. on their ass all day. Yeah, man. They just sit on their ass, play video games, watch movies, whatever they're doing. You know, like yeah. they don't think about all that all that stuff they. You don't. They don't think about like what that does on your heart, you know, and, and on your on your organs inside. Um, 
I work in the medical industry, so like, you know, I see a lot of people dealing with a lot of shit and, um, you know, people don't realize like how much you just sitting constantly like either at work or even at home, how much that is a stress on your body. It, it, it's complete stress on your body. Y'all ever watch that video of the guy, the guy, uh, the girl complaining like, damn, you only, you fucked me for like 10, five minutes, 10 minutes. Like, you know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? You guys are weak and blah, blah, blah. So he had, he laid down and had the girl like get in the action of fucking like, you know, stop humping him and pumping, you know, and she only could do that shit for like a minute and a half. And she's like, I'm fucking tired. You know what I mean? So it's just like. Hey, bro, that shit. Don't get me started on that, please. That's a whole different conversation. No, let's no, let's get started on it, man. Come on, no, let's but, go. No, we don't need to talk though, about video they'll, games they'll all day. They'll talk shit. They'll talk shit. It's like, all right, well, you go ahead and fucking sit there and go full fucking. Speed. Do what I do. Yeah. Because yeah. they would. I get it. No, he's he's lying. He's not lying because they'll talk shit. Well, first of all, it's it's very hard to outfuck a, a, a woman. That's just let's just keep it all the way up being. You know what I'm saying? But you know, <laughs> women will talk shit, and then you be like, yo, okay. You 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 go put. How about you put in the work and we'll see how long you last. Because and they don't last long. <laughs> it's a they they well, really they get don't. on top of you. They start doing the, the brother drop down, as drop a man. Evil. Listen, they last twenty seconds, bro. They give me like ten, like bro. The, the bro fact. I was I was a stallion from like fifteen to twenty five, but bro, like these days I gotta be in shape to keep up the fucking bro. Like I didn't realize how much of your knees and your back goes into all this shit, bro. You gotta keep you gotta it's, stay in shape. It's, it be in it, shape, dog. It really be it really be your core, man. It's your abs. Yo, your core. It's your core, bro. bro that your shit knees. goes. Crazy. Yo, like, your core go. That shit will work the shit out of your core, especially if it's missionary, bro. Missionary and doggy style definitely gonna work on your core. I'm giving you. I'm dropping y'all keys by the way in the chat, so y'all might want to write that down. See the thing is too. Like, uh, see, the reason the reason I'm gonna say these is like a lot of the chicks I, be, I mess with are like really s short, right? So like sometimes you know what? Nah, you like the shorties. You like the shorties. No, nah, no, nah, I I'm I'm a, I'm I'm open to anything. This is just coincidence. Recently, yeah. Um, they just been short lately, and um, dude, like you, oh, if, you know, in doggy style, you gotta kind of like. You gotta bend your knees way more to get into that, and like, bro, eventually it's like, goddamn, like I, I'm not as young as I used to be. I'm sorry. You know bro. what you gotta do, bro? I mean, I don't know how tall you are. You gotta put them on the edge of the bed. You feel me? Yep. Sometimes <laughs> they they line up perfect. Sometimes, like, yo, sometimes, sometimes they don't. Yeah, like the tall ones. <laughs> the tall ones. Bro, you they, they 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 line up perfect if you're like five four, the, like blazes. The, the, the tall ones I'm actually tall, tall are tall less you, work. Dog, I love about? the tall ones. I love the tall ones. Hey, nah, the see, tall ones. Listen, listen the Go tall ahead, ones are underrated. Yeah, nah, the tall sometimes. ones are good. With the short ones, for me, it's just the incompatibility in our size is where I have to move further to do the same Bro, things. Matt, if you know I what I mean? I'd be like this sometimes. Yo, when a bitch can't arc her back, I'd be like, "Bitch, get the fuck." Yo, <laughs> get the fuck down. Bro, get the fuck down. There's, there's, there's <laughs> chicks. There's chicks on Craigslist teaching hoes how to arch their back properly because it's a lost start. It's a lost start. And these... it's, it's definitely a lost start because one chick, yo, one chick not long ago got mad at me for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I after the fact, you know, after she got done, you know what I'm saying? I, I hit her up like, yo, you, you want some advice or no? I just told her straight up. You want some advice or no? She's like, yeah. So I'm like, yo, your arch is, your arch is terrible. You got to do better with that. That arch was mad lazy. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the tall ones, you really make up for that with their arch push they fucking shit down push their ass down bro they should be at like a 90 degree fucking angle can i ask you a question though hang on though because in my experience in my experience women are not very open to this constructive sexual criticism they're not they get very, they get very upset yeah because you bruise their fucking ego i know but it's like if I'm telling you how to do things better is because I'm hoping for more and I'm hoping the next time is even better. So like, why are you so mad? Like if you had some criticisms for me, I would, hope I would welcome them and apply them. Yeah. Tell like, me what you like and I'll do it for you. What the yeah. They're going to come back. Yeah. Why is the thing? Yeah. so mad? Why? This is the thing. They, they're going to come back. Just give them time, bro. Like, yeah, look, just, I'm telling you when you tell them, give them like two weeks. 
after two weeks, they're going to be like, they're going to hit you up. Like they're going to say some stupid shit. They're going to be like, Hey, <laughs> you'll be like, what's up? You'll be like, you know what I'm saying? Nothing. How you doing? And then eventually you're going to get to the conversation. It's just going to happen naturally. And she'll be like, you know, I just thought about it and you know, maybe I shouldn't have got too upset. You know, that's Straight. literally how that shit go. Just give them a couple weeks. Absolutely. Straight. And I have to say this, and this, and this is the, and this is the public service announcement to all men out there. The reason why, because I'm giving the women the benefit of the doubt here. The reason why I think these women react this way is because none of you motherfuckers have told them that they've been doing it wrong this whole time. That's a fact. You guys need to tell them. Because if I'm the first one to tell them, then I look like I'm crazy. They're like, oh, no. You know, the past, however many, it was all fine with them. You're the only one who complained. Yeah, because none of you guys had the balls to complain. You fucking bitches. Yeah, they've been acting. They've been fucking dudes that are like fucking all soft and shit. You like that, baby? You like that? Oh, yeah. That's that's the problem is that you're you're, you're dealing with chicks yeah. that are um, hanging out with fucking dudes who just simp for them. You know? and, and, and to be real, listen, let's be, let's be real. Like, I need y'all men to understand, like, look, look at, look me in the camera. You've been lied to the majority of your fucking life. They've been telling you to be nice to women. No, nigga, don't be nice to the motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't like to be, they don't like when dudes be nice to them. They like you to be like, not a fucking super asshole, you but they like middle, you to bro. be stern and mean and shit. That's literally what they like. Now, the woman's not going to come to you and tell you this shit because they're manipulative. They're not going to fucking tell you. They just want to see if you actually do it. So stop being nice. Tell her ass to get their shit together. I'm telling you, women like assholes. You ain't lying, bro. Uh, let's get Wait, the super chats. and. Uh... I heard women like assholes. That's the only thing I heard. That's insane. Um, they do. Like, they really fucking do. Hey, why, man, you think, I, like, why you think I, if they, when they act nice, why, when you act nice to them, they don't even just they they just be acting all willy nilly. But the I second you put them in their oh, place, oh, you mean assholes like guys who are at, oh never. Yeah, mind. like but the, yeah, that's what I mean. And then the second you put them, <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I I had a no no. You're right. You're definitely right about that. I had a completely different message. Meds thought okay. you were into some freaky shit. That's what. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But these girls are always trying to play you, bro. These girls are always they be blowing you. They try to stick a finger. Yo, get your fucking hand out. I'm not the only one. Come on, don't don't. Oh, bro, don't my girl. Look like I'm the crazy try, one. My girl's been trying to. They're always trying. Stuff. They're I always give, trying. I, bro, get I your hand away girl, from there. I will fucking break your finger if you put that shit anywhere near me, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro. I'll break <laughs> that shit in half. Bro. I'm not even playing, dog. I don't play with that shit, bro. I don't want. I don't hey yo, what's up, bro? I don't care if it feels good. I don't want to know, bro. <laughs> Fuck out of here, any, bro. any who. No, yeah, I miss, I miss, I miss that last oh, bit of the conversation. I'm sticking a thumb in that bitch, though. The best believe it. You know what I mean? One in the pink, one in the stick. Uh, anywho, so we got a uh, two from Elite Killer. Shout out to Elite Killer, Peak 53's MVP. Fuck yeah, hell yeah. yeah he is, he is Elite uh, Peak 53. This is a question for the panel from from our old friend here. Wonderful. I'm cold. Oh, I'm cold. Hold me. Shout out to I'm cold. Um, we've Back. been texting Shout lately. Him, bro. He's a, he's a really good guy, man. He um, he's he's been keeping me he's been keeping me honest lately. Um, seven months of membership. Appreciate you, pimp. Question for the panel. Any general? Ah, uh, man. We've been talking about this through text. Any general tips on improving Riz with women, particularly ones you see on the regular and are familiar with? Um, mm. Who going first? Can I go first? Can on I, that? Go ahead. Please. Oh no, go go ahead, man. You want to go go ahead. Okay. I'll go first simply because me and me and Cold been already talking about this, so he already pretty much so I'll just get out of the way. Um the my number one tip for dealing with women is just be aloof. Act like you don't need them. Like that's that's my number one tip because women can sense the desperation. It's like it's like dogs. Dogs are so cool with you, but if they know that you're afraid, they kind of mess with you like they they sense the fear and they and they go after it if you if you show a dog you're not afraid come here i'll pet you then he's cool women sense that fear in you bro they sense that bitch in you and they sense the fact that um that you want them bro if you just pretend like even if even if like you're head over here for this chick and you, outwardly you have to at least just play it cool act cool 
always just act cool. That's my number one tip. Act cool. Be aloof. Number one tip. Number one keyword. Aloof. I'll say, and to add to that, number one, Madge is absolutely correct. I need y'all to understand, man, with energies. Like, women, men can pick up on energies, but women are professionals at energies. They know this shit. They're not going to tell you, but they know. They're a professional at energy. So, number one, act like you, like Madge said, act like you don't need them. That's number one. But I'm going to be honest with you. Number one, B, you need to, you need to embody confidence, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because... A woman don't want a man who's not confident because you got to understand a woman, when she looks at a man, she's looking at you because she's looking at it from a perspective of if I was to get with this dude, how would other women look at me while I'm with this man? So embody the confidence because at the end of the day, they want other, they may complain, they're not going to tell you this shit, but they want other men or other women looking at you when they're together because they want that jealousy factor. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So you have to literally embody confidence. And I'm going to tell y'all, the best way to do that shit, y'all need to start doing your I am confirmations because it's a whole ass fucking cheat code. You know what I'm saying? So every day when your ass wake up, you need to say, I am confident and start there. Because if you're not confident, you're going to get there by doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? So be confident in how you move. Be confident when you approach women and be confident in yourself. Point blank, period. I don't care if you're 300 pounds. I don't care if you're 100 pounds because guess what? Confidence trumps all of that shit. Yep. I promise you this. And I that's why you that. always see these random raggedy looking dudes with bad chicks. Because you know what? Yeah. He, ha he has more confidence than you do. Yeah. And like, uh, and, and honestly, when you look at them, understand that they didn't come out the womb like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't always this size. I used to be skinny as fuck in high school. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be confident and, and, and take action towards that. Do yes. some I am confirmations. Do little, do push-ups when you get up in the morning. It's building your confidence. But again, it's you're not going to go from zero to 100 in, in one day. You're not. But 1%, 1% better than you were the day before, you will eventually be at 50. Three months later, you're going to be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a lot better off than I was three months ago. But then yep. you're really going to end. That's really going to put your confidence at another level. And watch how the motherfuckers just start popping off. Of. Watch. Just watch. Just fucking watch. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So walk with confidence. Period. He's 100% correct. Confidence is key. 100%. You got anything to add to that, Dark? Uh, I mean, for me, the only thing that ever works is that I'm funny. That's it. That's the only thing. That I works. Mean. That works. Just, you have to play to your strengths. Funny. You have to I'm, play I'm, to your strengths. Bro, I'm a I'm I'm the goofiest motherfucker you will probably ever meet, but it, I mean, I just I have no problems, you know. You got you got you got to own up. You got to own it. Um I'll say this, a lot of people I'm not going to say his name. He's in my Discord. He went through a situation where him and his girl took a 2-month break. Uh he went to he went to his girl's house. And uh, she never had Snapchat. He never had Snapchat. But after that two-month break, she downloaded Snapchat. So he was sitting there with her. The, his, the, her phone lights up. It's Snapchat. And it's a dude hitting her, hitting her up talking. And he said that he felt like his soul left his body. He felt so betrayed and blah, blah, blah. And I said, bro. And he's like calling. I said, bro, you can't call her. I said, nope. it's over. You cannot give her yeah. another... Don't call her for your dog. I don't care if you left your keys, if you left your phone. Do not call that bitch for no fucking reason. Let it go. Just move on. Download some day naps. I know I'm not with day naps, but I said download something. Get your mind. Go to the strip club. Do something. But do not call that bitch. Because as soon as you do that, every time you connect with her or text her, it's telling her that, yeah, this guy still wants me. This guy still he wants to keep me around. Like, bro. And at the same time, I told him, bro. Would you expect her to do female females need attention, bro? Would you expect her? Do you, you so you expect her to sit there for two months and just dwell over you? The, that's nah. the facts. That's first off, why is, he sit, why is he sitting there waiting for two months in the first place? And yeah, and, where's your you, is at? Where's your bitches? Where and that? use the law of attraction, man. Use the law of attraction because part of the confidence factor is when you're feeling confident, you're not going to have to chase. Not one fucking woman, not fucking one. They will, you will literally, you will literally sit back and watch them come to you, bro. I, I, I promise you this. I like you don't even have. I'm with strict. 
I went straight I could to see Undisputed. The pain in them, bro. I, I felt I felt really bad for him. I said, but bro, you. I said you guys took a break, right? Like it's official. It's not. I said, yo, tell me, is it one thing? Like you guys, you can't be together? mad. You can't I said, be mad. You can't be mad, bro. I said you can't be mad. I said, dog, she needs attention. Like that's what they 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 thrive on attention. She needed something, somebody to talk to her. You don't it, whether she fucked them or didn't fuck them. You she just needed somebody there that she. Yeah. And I said, bro, look. <coughs> how like he went to call. I said, I said, bro, delete her number. Just don't call her, bro. If you do, nothing's gonna change for you, bro. I said, no. delete her number. Just act like she don't exist. Oh, I'm done with her. I'm done and, with her. I'm like, all right, bet. Be done with her, bro. Because <laughs> she's going to walk all over you the next the next chance she gets, bro. I'm telling you, she's going to. And we know it sucks. Listen, and Blaze, like, we, we, like, Blaze is saying that because we know it sucks. He's not in, he's not, he's not being on non compassionate to your feeling. We've all been yeah. there. We all yeah, been we've there. all been there, but you got to understand, like, it's a test. It's a, it's an internal test on your discipline. Like, Look at it. Look at it. Is practicing discipline. You know what I'm saying? It don't get no more like it don't get no more than the universe giving you the opportunity to really work on your discipline and that and the easy way to do it. Because not only do you have an out because she just really walked over you. You know what I'm saying? Now, now you get to really come up on her. Like wait till you see it, bro. Wait till she sees you a year from now when you're on top of your game. That's you know what I'm saying? saying and then she like, care. damn, I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that should it. literally be your fucking goal. Right. That should be your goal. You that's know what I'm saying? Anybody here in this chat, anybody watching this shit later on, I don't care when you watching this shit. If a woman did you wrong, I'm telling you, bro, it may hurt now, but you need to channel the fuck out of that energy. Get better in a year now, a year yep. from now, you're literally going to see exactly why I'm telling you to channel that energy. Yep. I yep. promise you this. Never, yeah, that, never. Never stop. I'm sorry, a straight. I was gonna say, just never stop working on yourself. Always continue working on yourself in terms of, uh, you know, making yourself a better person, uh, looking better, working out, um, me bettering yourself in terms of uh, your financial situation. Always look out for more career opportunities. Just put yourself in a position always better. Always Matt, keep trying to, to get the, better. You want to know because the reality of a relationship? Relationship slows everything down once you're in a relationship it slows your money down it slows your drive it slows everything because you feel comfortable enough where you're like oh i got something i don't need to bro yep. you, you, you get stop, stuck you stop you, get stuck. you stop improving on yourself because you feel like everything's gravy that's yep. the thing relationships fucking slow everything down they slow your financials down everything you just you start settling because you figure this is what i'm in for this is my girl, but like you gotta always continue to improve on yourself, bro. Always, always, and always, and always keep these bitches thinking, bro. I even I've been with my girl for ten years, and she still don't know what the fuck I'm thinking. I swear to God, bro, she don't know what I'm thinking. And and listen, y'all know because with the I'm gonna tell you what 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 us men do, bro. When we when we messing with like one or two women, you know what I'm saying? Like you'll stop really talking to women like that like on a public platform because you think you're going to lose the other two women no you need to be doing the fucking opposite you need to be talking to more women because you need to let them know motherfucker you are in competition with the rest of them it ain't vice versa period and you know what's crazy strict they love it they, love they do they're not going to they tell you that. they do they love that's that why shit. that's why if you wear a wedding ring and hit the bar with a wedding ring on. Even if yeah. you're not married, put on a band. You're going to get hit on. They want you more. Women, yes, because a wedding ring means that a woman already analyzed you <laughs> and already determined that you were worth keeping. And now and, suddenly, they want you as well. And and she's, she, and the women, women also look at shit like, if I'm only going to mess with a man if he got something to lose like me. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, so it that's how they that's how they do it. They're very women are analytical, bro. But by the time you even know what her favorite fucking color is, she probably know how you move. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just how women are. You, you feel me? But women gatekeep sex, but women but men, we gatekeep the fucking the, the world. We rule this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So walk in that confidence and really understand that. Understand that, bro. Understand that everything you were taught till this day about being nice to women, about you know, what I'm saying like only talking to this, this shit is all a fucking lie. 
it's just like the food thing we was talking about manipulate this is why donuts are ten dollars and it costs 15 to be healthy this is the same principle it's the same principle it's the same fucking principle so that energetic shit that you feel when you feel like damn why am i feeling like i shouldn't be doing it that's confirmation that you need to actually fucking do it um i want to i want to bring up a question uh solid snake brought up shout out to him he said uh what do y'all feel about dating apps well i've been out of the game for a Love long em. time i've been out of the game for a but when i first started there was an app called plenty of fish back in the day i don't know if it's still around or not <laughs> i remember There's, that it's still around it's actually not a bad app it's actually yeah, a decent app. hold on hold on but let me just tell you i don't know where's my girl I, bro i was moving on that app but the thing about that it came to a point where i was watching hands bro i didn't trust nobody i was looking at the bitch's hand like yo that's a man bro i was so paranoid bro i was looking at fingertips like yo she got too many rings like that's a man like i'm looking at adam's apples i didn't but trust me they can be really useful i say stay the fuck off tinder bro tinder it, like if you don't get a fucking bachelor's degree in the best fucking picture profile like fuck tinder there's too many expectations on tinder but yeah all the ones yeah Dude, and you're paying for it like like 95 percent of the features are locked unless you're paying for it so it's a yeah. waste of fucking time my, my um, like a, go on no, go ahead man it's good uh, well what i was gonna say if is if you're using tinder my recommendation is just fucking lie because if you're on tinder like dude like literally millionaires are on tinder guys who develop like guys who work for google and twitter like they're on tinder and they're competing for chicks just like you and guess what? They don't want a guy who works at fucking FedEx. I'm sorry, but that's just that's just how it is. That's the they, thing. You gotta they lie don't. on your resume. You they gotta don't. lie on your resume. So you to have bring to, them in. Exactly. So you have to fucking lie. And 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 yeah. I'm sorry, but that's that's literally what you have to do. I and, and don't feel bad about it. Don't feel bad about it. Because you're not the only liar here. All these bitches got filters on their photos. They're fucking I'm about to say, They're That's exactly what too. I was going to say. Listen, a lot of these women, they lying. They using too many fucking filters. You know what I'm saying? And though, like, I'm going to be honest with you. Most of them, I ain't going to not say most, but a lot of them definitely, those, those, like, they look sexy in their pic, but when you see them, their gut is definitely bigger than what they've got. Uh, th so can I just say this before I forget? <laughs> yeah, and go look ahead. Bro. Out, look out for fucking bitches that just have face pics. Oh, don't trust that shit oh, at all. Those if those chicks are all fat, bro. They're all fucking, yeah. Listen, I, all them bitches are hot air balloons. Believe me, all bro. Them. I said that on Twitter not long ago. I said, bro, if if she has nothing but face pics, she is She's definitely fat. over two hundred and twenty pounds. One hundred percent. This is too, this like, is not up for debate. Um. Also, don't get fooled by the top down pictures. That's 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 a fat chick go to move. The top down picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fact. Don't fall for that. Don't yeah, fall yeah, for yeah. that. Yeah, 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 because because it's the angles. Like they like the what listen, they women are geniuses angles, with this shit. They, they play with angles and shit. That's why I don't really like y'all want to know. Listen, I seen a comment in the chat that says where y'all go to pick up chicks. Honestly, I don't necessarily go nowhere, but if you want to know the best fucking place, it's Target. Target is the best place for you. Yo, yo, shout out to yo, Walmart be having these thotty fucking just you know what I mean? Like, yo, you got you got them pajama pants at like yeah, Shrek is Shrek is spitting facts right now. I don't use apps. I, I I don't I don't I don't like using apps. I usually Home Depot. Uh, <laughs> you said <laughs> Home Depot? Facts though. No, you facts, bro. Home but Depot I, do got some, you know what I'm saying, like hey, every man. now and then. But I'm Both Target. Target. And and if you I'm gonna be honest too though. If you're looking for like some bunnies. Lowe's, like the uh, not Lowe's, a former for, uh, Trader Joe's, bro. Trader Joe's, Trader, 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 Trader Joe's, Joe's and Whole Foods is prime hunting ground and you Publix, know, too. You might find some in Publix, but them bitches, like, you know, what I mean, like, they eat too, like, they're too perfect. Like, if you eat in that Whole Foods, like, I feel like you just too much for me. Like, damn, bro, can we just stop at McDonald's? This bro, I've seen the gym, hold on, and the gym. I gotta say, the gym, too. Jam, yeah. gym is like prime shit for women, like, the gym is. is you talking i'll never step I, I don't go to church the gym is where the fuck it's at he said I don't go to church. <laughs> the gym is where the it's gym, at the gym, the gym is Target, actually bro. like a cheat code i'm not gonna lie the, the gym is <laughs> actually it's way too easy but you also tip for the gym be very careful because if things go sour you still work out here and she does as well 
So and you might be, be you might be getting recorded for one of their videos. This yes. man checked me out five times. Type. Oh shit. yeah, yeah. And not only that, but like, okay, you scooped a girl here last Tuesday, but you scooped a girl here on Thursday as well, and now you're here on Sunday, and they're both here. What the fuck? Like, you gotta be yeah. careful. You gotta be careful. Man, look, y'all better keep it a beam. That's what I'm saying. You don't even gotta do. It. Listen, I'll be like, I'll tell them straight up. If they ask me, did you fuck her? Yeah. What's up? Like, with, like it, it, it doesn't matter. Like, she's still going. If a woman wants to fuck you, she's going to fuck you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like, that's that's like old thinking now. Like, I'm I'm just telling you that's old thinking. Unless you had in some shit. But that's why you shouldn't even had it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep it a beat. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, boom, boom. boom. You know, but hey, hey man, that's. <laughs> I'm just telling you. But again, the gym, Target. Trader Joe's. Great spots. Great just everyday spots where you find yeah, chicks. You know chicks saying? at the park. Yo, go to the fucking park with your dog and then holler at me after. I went to I went to Target. Look, like a month ago, I was in Target, right? And I did the little self-scan, the little self-checkout shit. And in front of me, there was this chick. She was solid, bro, but she had a fatty. You know what I'm saying? So in my head, I'm like, bro, if I get out this shit in time and like she's within distance, I'm definitely hollering at her. We walking out of Target, she in front of me. Yo, excuse me, what's your name? You know what I'm saying? She's like, Bree. I'm like, I'm like, oh, you got a man? She was like, no. I was like, all right, my name is David. Let me get your number. Problem solved. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, but Strick, some people don't have this, like you, we were going to bring up this word again, the word confidence. Some people don't have the, the ju yo, some people don't know how to talk to women, bro. They just, they fucking, they start stuttering. They start fucking, they just. But this is. Yeah, this, you, is this is why we here. This is why we having no, this conversation. Exactly. I want to tell anybody <laughs> out there. Bro, I want to tell. I want to tell any any dude out there listening. Dude, the worst that can happen is she says no. Exactly. That's it. Yeah, That's yeah, the wanna, end game. That's the worst thing that can happen to you is that you say no. Yeah, Yo, they're what? scared of an ego check, like damn, like they bro, they, I, they walk bro, out of that. Let me say this: like, I, I, I'm med, I'm with you and Strick. Believe me, I'm no. not against you. But they, you know, some guys will be like, "Yo, if she says no to me, now he's leaving that store." Like, God damn. Yo, let me. I, I, no, go ahead, man. It's my bad. I've my seen, bad. I know. No, this this, this people, was my bro. last point, so so you can carry on right where I no, right no, where no. I finish, uh, 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 Dave. Um, pretty much what I wanted to say is, worst she can say is no. And listen, um. The guys who you know of, any any anybody that you can think of, th think of whoever in your head right now that you think, oh, this guy gets chicks, bro. Whoever you're thinking of, he gets rejected more than half the time as well. Like That's true too. You just need to get used to what rejecting rejection feels like. Understand that it's not a death sentence. If if one girl says no, there's fucking four billion others out there ready to and tell you no. Um, but, but yo. But but some of them are gonna say yes. Okay, so keep going, keep trying, keep fellas trying. and fellas. Two things, right? Two things with this. Number one, not one man in this fucking world is ten out of ten. Getting they're not hollering at ten women and getting ten of them unless you're a fucking billionaire. It's yeah. just not happening. Okay, that's number one. And number two, I'm gonna be real with you. This may be this may sound weird to you at first, but you need to do this shit. You need to talk. Like practice this shit at home. Practice talking to women at home. Talk to yourself. Act like you're really fucking doing it. Because if you don't practice, how can you literally uh, expect yourself to do it in real time? Everything needs practice. So practice doing it. It comes with confidence and it comes with practice. So if you don't know how to do this shit today, I'm telling you, what's it? March 31st. This is a perfect time to do it. It's fucking March 31st, bro. Do it now. The time is now. Do this shit now. Like by 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 the end. I'm telling you, by the end of June, you will be so fucking confident and you'll get used to this shit. You're gonna be like, damn, like I can't believe, you know what I'm saying? This is I'm telling you, this is really this is a cheat code. Tra and, practice at home. Practice and get at used home. to hearing no and stop getting offended when you get told no. You, you know what else though? Well, the, that's Trickley said if 10 out of 10, you know, you ask 10 girls. The difference is if a woman goes up to 10 guys, they'll probably be all yes. Like, okay. Nine out of 10. Nine out of yeah. 10. That's the difference. That That's the fucking, these, these, girl, these women don't understand. Like, that's the struggle men deal with. Like, a girl can, like, a girl can right now get in her, like, bro, strictly get in your phone. I mean, it might be different because you're already talking, but like, randomly hit up six different girls. You might not get a single response. If she, now, if that same girl does the same thing and hits up six random guys in her phone, 
I guarantee at least three are, are, are coming, bro, are going to hit her up. One hundred percent. No question. That's the difference, bro. It's a game of odds. It's a game of odds. And, and you always, like, we've all heard this. You miss every shot you don't take. Yo, you 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 ever, uh you know, back in the day, you know, once you're into high school or maybe even past high school, you go into college and, like, middle school chicks when you're in high school, they hit you up like, you know, I was actually always kind of into you. Bro. And then... And then and when you're in college, high school chicks hit you up like, yo, you know what? I was into you all four years of high school, and you just never said anything to me. Be it's the one. Like, that that's happened. Man. That's definitely happened, bro. And you're like, damn. You start thinking like, damn, really? I heard that shit for years. I heard that shit for years. Middle school chicks, when I was in high school, oh, I wish you would have hit, hit on me. Same thing, college. I wish you would have hit on me back when we were in high school. Like, oh, my God. Women expect you to be fucking mind readers. And I'm going to be honest. They be lying. That's game, just their, that is just their excuse to get at you now. Exactly. No, no. You're, you're totally right, Dave. Maybe they weren't even into you back then. But now, you know, you got a nice job. You know, you're, you're looking slimmer. You're looking fitter. Now they want you. Yeah. Uh, bro, you guys are spitting some heat. Uh, just Walking listen. confidence, take, fellas. Take Walking all the shots. Confidence. Take all the shots. Because... You're going to regret it if you don't. You're going to regret it if you don't. And, and and I'm telling you, so many women that you thought were totally inaccessible will totally open up their doors for you. And, you just never knocked. And you also, knock. pay attention, like, pay attention to, like, your social media in a way, right? Because say you start posting shit, you know what I'm saying, and nobody really checking you, right? But then over time, you're going to start, you'll start picking up some like women and shit like that. And the same women will be keep on liking your shit. What is that telling you? Or viewing it. You can, because on Instagram, you can see who views your shit, bro. I've yeah. That, and that's, that lately. and that's what I'm be, that's really what I'm talking about. I post a lot on stories and over time you start seeing the women, they, they, they start liking it. And then, and then you have the consistent ones, you know what I'm saying? And they going to end up getting, I'm telling you, this is the way it works. That's because it's the law of attraction and it's confidence, bro. Like, but strict, you're, but strict, you're in shape, bro. You're in shape, but this, man. I don't. But, but I wasn't, but I wasn't, I wasn't like this all the time. Like, I had to gradually. I, 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 I know, I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. I just, no, I, but, the sarcasm but, that's, but, but, but that's that. That's a lot of people's excuses, right? Is they're making excuses for themselves, and they're making excuses by looking at other people and being like, "That's why I wonder if some of these dudes." work around women i work around women all the time i'm always working around women i like work i love working around women um yeah. and I, I hear so much shit they talking so much shit about their fucking dudes all the time they talk shit about their dudes bro the workplace is a no and, spot and yeah Facts. Well, I don't, I don't shit where I eat, but you know. Oh well, they do. To each you're, a, you're a smart man, Artemis. Carry yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm, <laughs> you know, and they they talk shit so much about their men, but guess what? They go home to them every fucking day. Exactly. Every day. So, 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 if you're worried about her talking shit about you, don't worry about that shit because guess what? All women fucking do it. All women Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. And th that's why I'm like wondering if some of these dudes actually work around women or if they just you know, are like not like, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I've never understood that because I've never had a problem with talking to women, but it, it's just, it's just weird, man. I, I don't, I don't understand how people have such an issue with talking, I, just talking. Well, never, like they, that's I, all you got to do. A lot of times that's all you have to do is just talk. I, that's it. A lot of people didn't experience. I think you made a great outside, point, bro. Artemis. I think, I think a lot of people are just not very well socialized with women. Yeah. Um, me personally, like, um, I didn't, I, I grew up without a man in my life, like, you know, a father figure. Like, I was raised by my grandmother, my mother, and four older sisters. Like, literally, <sighs> I grew up in a crib with six chicks. So, you know, you know the shit talking, man. You so, know the shit talking. <laughs> so, so, so I, I, I've always understood women, and, and obviously, yeah. like, I, that, that's a loaded thing to say. Like, I, do I understand women? I guess a little bit. I understand them better than, the typical guy i guess right sure. because i yeah. just i just lived around them so long so i know what's up i know what's up but a lot of these guys they're only children or they only have brothers or maybe yeah. they were raised by a single dad like a lot of these guys don't know how to fucking act around chicks and and, and not even just acting just how to how to talk like what what to do what not to do um 
it's it's look it's it's okay to be uncomfortable yo y'all yeah. need to like people just need to understand Rick, that spit like that, spit that with you what you hey well, yo, me and strictly will facetime randomly mm -hmm. and we and we both came to the conclusion that we've we've become extremely comfortable being uncomfortable and yeah. you gotta fucking learn to live being uncomfortable bro. you gotta you get out of your comfort that, zone yeah, that, yeah that's like the problem it, with a lot of people they don't know how to get out of their comfort zone you have it, to yeah. you have to force yourself to get out of that and and it's it, and it's like listen like if y'all are not comfortable being around women like it's okay like don't sit there and beat yourself up over about it you know what i'm saying yeah. but yourself in situations to where you're around women so you mm -hmm. can start getting more comfortable because yeah. again this leads to confidence once you get comfortable a little bit being around them then you're sitting there thinking like damn i kind of like this shit. like and it's not as bad as i thought it would be you know what yeah. i'm saying then one woman's going to give you a compliment in a month or so after you've been working out yeah she's like yeah i seen you losing weight like you're looking real good your confidence is literally going to skyrocket to the fucking moon after that you know what I'm saying? So, like, literally, just understand you're not always going to be comfortable, but you're not meant to. Yeah. Because if you are, you're not fucking growing. You're not expanding at that point, and you want I to have, expand. I, I have literally, I've literally had women that I've worked with who were like, "I'm going to hook you up with my friend over here," just because of my personality and the way that I am. So, like, you know, I I, I just don't understand the 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 whole thing because that's just i've never had a problem you know and i'm a big dude like you look at me you, 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 i ain't nothing to look at but i mean just by seeing you know you, i mean you seem like a, a a lovable guy yeah i'm i'm a big teddy bear dude I'm, you know yeah and, and, <laughs> and you're, very, and you're very affable you're I'll, very I'll affable. give I'll, I'll give the shirt <laughs> off my back if i have to you know but you know I, I, but i'm also not i'm not going to be nice to you if you're not going to be you know if you right. if you're gonna be a, a fucking you know like strictly said like like you, you kind of have to be a little bit of an asshole right like you don't have to be like a little you don't have to be like consistently like just be like man fuck you bitch you know you don't have to be like that no. you just just, just don't be a yeah, pushover like, oh yeah and just don't be a pushover don't don't let her try to play her mind games with you you know man stand like, in y'all so fucking crazy. power bro like y'all yeah, yeah. men are literally inherently born on this shit with fucking power. It, it comes innately in you, bro. Stand in your motherfucking power. Stand in that shit. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say something real quick, too, yeah, before. Uh, I don't we'll know if we were up. about to wrap up, but yeah. but let me, yeah, let me say this before we wrap up. Um, if, if, if you have literally no experience with women, like, don't take our advice. Like, you need to take baby steps. Dude, like, make female friends be friends with women talk to them understand them get to know them better um that goes a long way a lot of a lot of men do not know how to just be friends with women uh, um mm -hmm. and, and i need you guys to understand that um because a, a lot of people think that men and women can't be friends and i don't agree with that no. um i think you can I totally have facade at the end of the day bro i, I I, I do match. I'm trying to fuck all my. You no, know what I mean, like, no, 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 listen, no, 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 no. Now listen, now listen. I'm trying to fuck that, everything. I, I understand. I understand what you're saying, Blaze. I understand what you're saying, Blaze. And listen, some of my female friends and I have had this conversation. Like, yo, like, I'm glad we're friends. I'm actually. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm attracted to you. I would, but like, I would. I would rather never cross that line because I value our friendship. Right. And and and, and I feel that way with uh, about many of my female friends. Now, some of them. If if they told me, yo, I'm trying to cross that line, I'd be like, fuck yeah. Um, but now some of them, if they told me that, I'd be like, nah, I don't want to cross that line. Like I would much rather just stay in that, you know. But again, long, you know, all of that aside, I do think it's important to understand women and to just be friends with them and just to understand them further than just people you want to fuck. You know? Oh, Can man, I just say John, one I'll last say thing to you, guys? Guys? Well, well, I, I want to say some, some yeah, stuff, too. We'll, we'll, we'll get to all you. Oh, I just want to say this because he's talking about this dude at work, old guy. He's, like, maybe in his 60s. And I started working with him because I started a new shift. And he's, like, every woman that walks by, boom, how's your day, blah, blah, blah. And they're all, like, so happy that he asked, how's your day? And, like, all this. And I'm, like, I'm like damn, man, you slick with the woman, huh? He's, like, he's like look, you just got to be nice to him. Just be polite to him. Just 
act like you give a fuck a little bit. You know what I mean? Just just to bring him in. You rail him in. He's telling me all this shit. Yo, I wish I could bring this guy on, bro. He's so fucking like he's an OG. But um the whole friend the whole friend thing is, man, it's just like I get what you're saying, but like, bro, if they were to ever like be sitting down, you know, with some fucking leggings on, it's like you look at them, you're like, I'm a fucking dog, bro. It's like like, yeah, bro. <laughs> All right, cool. How was your day, like, bro? I'm like that's just me, bro. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just being. No, like, yeah. no, no, no please. No. I'm with you. I'm just yeah. saying that this doesn't apply to literally all of my female friends. Like, I do. Have, like I said, I have some female friends. Like, bro, if they want to cross that line, I'm down. Let's do it. But some of them, bro, I would even if they wanted to. And, and some of them are bad. And and bro, I would still say nah. You fucking lying. I'm telling you. I'm I would. I don't you. lie to you, Blaze. Man. Some of my best friends are women, and I, I, you know, they've 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 told me before, like, oh, I I had a crush on you or whatever, and I'm all like, oh, okay, you know, like, uh, all right. Listen, you, <laughs> you, get know, them, like... you get them drunk, they start fucking licking lips, bro. Yeah, they, 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 that's, yeah, they that's when it happens. Yeah. When they get drunk, yeah. they they yeah. confess yeah. all the shit to you. Yeah, exactly, absolutely. exactly, yeah. absolutely. It's always when they're drunk. Every time, every time, every time I've had a chick be like, oh, I had a crush on, she's she's been. But drinking. they be in relationships though. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, they're, they're in relationships. The so I'm like, I don't know. What they be confessing your love to you when they got a fucking... Yeah, yeah I know. I know. I know. I'm all like, okay. Bro, that's the thing, though. I don't know, Meds, what type of women you be talking to, but my girl is not even fucking... She better not even tell me she... You ain't having no fucking friends. I don't give a fuck who they are, bro. If it's oh, work... If well, I, you're my, in a my, different my, my, my girl having male friends... It that's a whole happening. different. I don't know. It ain't happening. I don't. Care. I don't know if this is a whole different you... conversation, but uh, me personally, yeah. Um, because I, because I know me and my female exactly. friends, I know that every one of your friends is just somebody in the fucking bullpen waiting for me to get tired. No, 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 no. At the end of the day, yo, your woman, if if your woman rock with you, she's not going to want to be around another dude anyway. No, 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 that's true. Like, that's yeah, just how women are genetically. Um, but it all starts with your mindset, fellas. It all starts with your mindset. You have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in your confidence and all of that. It literally starts with your, with your mindset. That's why I tell people, do I am confirmations. I know it may sound different. It may sound corny or whatever it is. But I'm just telling you, set a reminder on your phone every day. To say I am confident, and over time you're gonna see how much that shit fucking works. It start with it starts with your mindset. You have to literally brute force that shit. I just want to say, this is uh, somebody said, how do we get from Rise of Ronan to this? Well, brother, you shouldn't have left the show, and you realize we this, transitioned to this a long time ago. This but, is uh, what the solid cast is all about. Listen, this is talking, more I'm important I'm than tired video of games. Talking about video games. Hold this on, is man. more what? important. What the fuck has happened in video games in the last fucking two nothing, nothing. What, nothing. Exactly. Exactly. Nothing. What the yo, listen, we're the reason why we talk about shit like this on, on a random fucking Saturday night is because guess what? We're here to do a show for you every fucking Saturday. And guess what? This is a gaming show. And sometimes there's not gaming shit to talk about. Are we supposed to take the week off? Nah, we don't nah. do that shit. Meds, we're here for you every fucking week because you support us. you fucking you fucking drop super chats, you you drop memberships, and we're here for you every week. And if there's nothing gaming to talk about, what are we going to talk about? First of all, yeah, how long is, can you talk about Rise of the Ronin? No, no, but this is what the Solid Cast has always been. You know, we've always talked video games and then transitions to real life scenarios, real life topics. It's always been that. And matter of fact, I'm going to double down on that. I'm going to make sure I'm going to have a poll thing up next time. And you guys can just enter questions towards the end of the show. And we can we can have these conversations because at the end of the day, this is this I, I I this is the shit I like to talk about. Don't get me wrong. I, I I listen. I'm in Discord all the time. Blaze, Blaze, what you are you gonna you gonna buy that Blaze? What your thought, bro? Okay. You know what I mean? So like I right. like talking video games, but sometimes this is the shit that's fucking that resonates with people. You know what I mean? Like this is everyday life shit people go exactly. through. I, I just think it, exactly. it hits home for a lot of people. It hits home. But I'm enjoy Blaze. the keys. Enjoy the keys that we dropping. Because exactly. we dropping mad keys, and these ain't right. keys that, like, uh, I'm going to be real, like, a lot of dudes, we can a lot of people in general, but a lot of dudes, they like to hold a lot of this information right. from y'all because they think it's going to get them every woman, like, and all of that. We dropping people yeah. keys that will literally change Strict. your fucking life if you apply it. Strict ain't nothing worse than a bitch ass motherfucker who climbs the ladder and pulls it up after him and doesn't let you climb it. Crabs in the bucket. 
Crabs in the yeah. bucket. You know ain't what I'm no, saying? Ain't no crabs in the bucket over here, dog. I want Period. everybody None of that. We going to drop y'all keys. Real keys that you can literally apply to your life to fucking day when you got get off of this live feed. Like, I'm telling you, one of the keys is literally set. Like, we have all of these smartphones and shit. You know what I'm saying? So use it. Set reminders on your phone to, to you know, I am confirmations. Get better every day. Whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? But these are real keys that you can use because it starts with your mindset. And once you yeah. once you change that shit, once you once you literally change it and see it, you're going to be unstoppable. You're literally going to be unstoppable, yo. Sure. Literally. Come on, baby. Come on. Literally. So yeah, we dropping keys for y'all. We'll talk about games, but when it come to like this real life shit, we want to see people be better. We like when I see you, if I see you today on March 31st, and I see you fucking June 30, June 30th. I want to see you be better. Yeah, that's I, that's literally my goal. I want to see you be fucking better, bro. Like that, because I know that's how I think. If a person see me, like I listen, when I went, I haven't been to Charleston in like seven years, bro. When I went back on Thanksgiving, they was like, yo, this nigga really did step. Yes. So every time a person sees me, I want to be better than the last time you fucking see me. That should be your goal. That should be your goal. Big facts. Exactly. And I want to help people get there because the universe is going to give it back to me. And I feel good giving people keys. See, that, that's my that's my whole thing. I've always wanted to start like a podcast where we talk about real shit, you know, like and so that's why I always rock with 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 Blaze in this in this podcast, because you guys just don't talk just about video games. You talk about real shit that's going on in our in our everyday life, you know, like it. it I mean, we literally had people asking us, like, hey, what can I do to, you know, find a woman? Like, what do you want us to do? Not answer that? Like, you want us to not, like, you just want us to be like, oh, yeah. Um, but, well, let's get back to Dragon's Dogma. No, no dude. Like, like, we're not sitting 24-7 talking about video games in the first place in real life anyways. Like... I rarely ever talk about video games except for when I'm here on podcasts or if I'm on Twitter or something like that. When I'm when I'm out in my day to day life, I'm talking about all kinds of shit: philosophy, fucking, you know, conspiracy theories, ghosts. Listen, I don't, like, you know, what's you know, about? like I'm talking about all kinds of stuff, dude. That's when cool. I, when That's I cool first shit. started speaking to Rev, when I first started speaking to Rev or Strictly or even Meds, no. our conversations were built on video games because. That's yeah. how, that's how that's we a built, building block. That's how we but, built our relationship. But once I knew who they were as individuals, I you can yep. you can ask yo strictly. I call strictly after getting the haircut today. Strictly, did we talk about a video game at all, bro? No, nah, we talked about just no. real shit for like thirty minutes, bro. I'm on the phone. We didn't bring up a single video game, bro. That's not our our relationship is not built off video. Yo, actually, I take that back. It was built off video games, but it comes to a certain. It point, started like, off yo, that way. It right. started off that way. Like meds. Bro, me and just... Blaze don't talk about video games. We don't. never, ever. Like we do, but we don't. Like, like it just. I don't. I don't fucking hang out. That's the other thing about this community. Like, people hang around with certain people because they're in certain positions. You know, yeah. I mean? people hang yeah. around with certain people because they have clout. They have all these. You know, mm -hmm. they have they're they're they have gateways. They they can help them out. I don't want your help, bro. If I fuck with you, it's because I fuck with you. I've said this a thousand yeah. times, bro. Uh, period man and, and 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 listen man we are game listen bro like y'all people have to understand bro like i was born in 88 blaze was born in 88 i don't man so, like we're all but we are millennials yeah. everybody on 89 everybody on the screen, saying, on the screen yeah. is millennials we grew up yep. around games g like that shit kept us out of trouble for real so yeah. there's not many people who appreciate games like us but that's not all we like just exactly. like Artemis said, I like a lot of different shit other than games. I'm in the philosophy. I fucking study astrology, G. Yo, you know, I would saying? love to talk to you about astrology and freaking food. Yeah, we can't we get off of, we this, can't we get off of this because you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we yeah. can't we get off of this, but like I study all of that shit. I do tarot. I'm into the occult, spirituality, all type of different oh. shit. We talk about real love shit because I'm I'm into helping oh. people. I like helping people. It's like a part of my being or something. I don't even know how to fucking explain that. You know what I'm saying? But I like helping people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but our foundation, yeah, it started with video games, but we built our friends, me and fucking Blaze friendship is so damn strong. Like, we don't even talk about game. We talked about games so much, even getting to this point, 
we I don't think we can talk about fucking video games. Like, <laughs> right, about, exactly. You know what I'm saying? We talk about real yeah. ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit that we go through, real shit that we appreciate. Like I'm into so much different shit, like Greek philosophy. I'm into a lot of different shit, ancient Egypt, all of that. Absolutely. You know what I'm Ooh, if, you want, if you ever want to talk about Greek uh, m- mythology, talk to me, brother. Oh, you, bro, listen. I got a deck of I mean, I mean, is yeah. based off of Greek mythology. Pallas Athena, Arachne. We can go there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. Bro, so, uh, yes, Solid Snake. And that's my whole thing. Blade, Blade, like, I, holy fuck, baby. In South Carolina Auto Machine, I, I rock with, uh, I mean, I said South Carolina. I rock with Charleston, man. I stayed in Charleston <laughs> from like 18 to like, I was back and forth a lot. I moved to Charleston at the age of um 18 when I went into the military, but I was back and forth from Charleston, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. Bro, and, 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 that, and that's the thing. I, th- I feel yeah. like a lot of people haven't gotten some of the experiences of moving or visiting or going to other places that aren't within your comfort zone. Dude, I've been to Kentucky. I've been to fucking all over the country, man. I've been to New York. I've been to, you know, Louisiana. Shit, I've been to... I I mean, I grew up in Michigan. Um, You know, I used to go to Detroit all the time. You know, like I've been, I've been to a lot of places. I know, I I know, we about to get out here because I know, I know, Blaze (laughs) for yourself out of it. Yeah, Yeah. goddamn, bro. Like, hold on, just all right. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We're not going until it gets boring. The show is over when the show is over when it's over. Y'all look good, bro. I'm just trolling. Go ahead. Nah, but like, I just say, I like to say, like. Bro, when I when I deployed to Kuwait, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like I w- I went back as a contractor. You know what I'm saying? And I was able to travel. I went to Dubai three times, bro. Like and that shit changes you, bro. Like not not just it's not just about the buy, it's about like imagine being on a fucking yacht party with badass yeah. chicks, you eating lamb and all type of like, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's just a different type of energy. And once you once you just once you're open up to that, and I wasn't I wasn't the business, I wasn't 30 at this time, bro. I went to Dubai at the age of 25 years old. You know what I'm saying? So like these type of things I need people to experience because it opens your mind to so much life. shit energetically, and you're just gonna change. I can't explain yeah. it to you, I can't explain how, but you're just going to fucking change. You are. You know what I'm saying? So I think I think even if you haven't even been out of the country, because I've never been out of the country, but oh, even yeah, just generally though, other, you know just in general visiting other places, you're gonna get that that different walks of life and, and, oh, yeah. and different people. Oh, yeah. You know, and you just gotta be comfortable with that, even if it's not comfortable at the time. You just have to be. You know, just be you, man. Like shit, man. Like like who gives a fuck what people think about you? You know, Yo, like, let's do this. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll get this is the last topic. I don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> Solid Snake says '90s cartoons, and we brought this up in Weapon Wheel after dark. Oh before, but God! I, I just want to ask. Just it's a it's a simple question. Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network, baby. Nickelodeon Cartoon Network. You see, uh, I knew, I knew, I, I, I knew that Strict would say that I'm because Strict, too. Strict is like, see, here's the thing: if you were born from '87 to '89, you're gonna say Nick. If you were born from '90 90 to '93, you're gonna say CN. Yeah, you're right. And and that's straight up where the line is, because I'm sure Artemis was born after '90. No, so I, was, I. I was. No, I was born in '89, dude. I love Cartoon Network. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're right. At the so you're, cutoff, you're, you're you're right wrong. At the you're wrong. <laughs> no, no, but you but you are right at the cutoff, though. You are right at the cutoff. Um, but, but I also like Nickelodeon. We, 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 we can have a whole debate about it. We can have a whole debate about it. Here's here's my thing. I'll, I'll say my point. Cartoon Network, um, Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff Who's Girls, SpongeBob, Cal- nothing. Nothing. Uh, hang on, wait, Band. wait, wait. No, 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 no. What's better than SpongeBob? Dragon Ball Z. Ren and Stimpy, man. Back in the day. Listen, I will I take Sp- I will I will take SpongeBob over literally everything that Cartoon Network's ever put out. Bro, However, on, bro, Global Guts, Legends of the Hidden Temple, them shits were fucking bro, heat, bro. Those, bro. Those, those are good, man. Bro, even though, Why? even though, again, Cart- SpongeBob is so iconic and it's 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 Still better than every Cartoon Network show ever. Meds. That's the thing. Bro, I keep DB- watching SpongeBob. That's the thing that's crazy. Bro, like, DBZ, 
Bro, the entire earth mourned when DBZ's creator died, okay? The entire fucking planet. I, I hate to say it, I didn't I didn't mourn because I'm I'm not an That's anime. That's because you're a bitch. But listen. Um, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm just I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I, I've, I've never I've never been in anime, but like I get it. Like I respect Dragon Ball Z though. Like I I've, I've I've tried to watch Dragon Ball Z, I just could never get into it. I respect it, and I respect the creator that you, made bro. it. I'm you, but I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not into it. But I, I get what you're saying. Oh, man. It's like, like people, you know, bro, we're, we're attached to network. It. The reason why your fucking niece, who's fucking twelve years old, and your nephew who's eight years old, the reason why they're fucking weebs is Cartoon Network. It's it's definitely debatable though. I mean, like you know, you got Invader Zim, Kim Possible, and shit like that. Dexter's Laboratory, yeah, like yeah. Powerpuff Girls, like you know what I'm saying. But you know, I grew up on you know, I mean, uh, like like Matt said, man, I'm I grew up on dog, Rocket Power, on, Hey Rocket Arnold, Power. you know what I'm saying, hey Cat Arnold, Dog, oh fucking. My God, it's over, bro. I grew up on all of that shit. Like not even, not even remember Captain Planet. You watch Randy you know what I'm saying? Oh. That's yeah, why this is a hard conversation because I say Cartoon Network and people think, oh, I hate Nickelodeon. No, Nickelodeon's fucking fire. No, yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'm it, sorry, Strick. No, no, are you good? Right, right. There was just, I mean, just, I look, man, I love fucking cartoons. I really don't give a shit what channel was on. Like, if I rock with the show, I rock with the show. Rocket Power was my shit. I would sit there and watch that shit for hours. Back Remember, show. guys, I used to watch Godzilla coming from home from school. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. All, I still all, watch that shit. All <laughs> of, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Captain Planet, like Captain Planet, you know, all of that yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking there we had we had so much stuff. There was a lot. Yeah, um um uh what's the uh fucking um what's the joint called? Uh S Told by Ginger. That was oh, all yeah. wild thornberries, bro. Like wow. we can go, we can go for days, you know what I'm saying? Like with so holy shit, yeah, all you know what I'm saying all of that shit. And yeah, Courage a Cowardly Dog was about spirituality. I'm just letting y'all know. Rent you know, state state <laughs> this shit was crazy. Fuck. But yeah, yeah man. Those modern life, like, bro, I'm done. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Oh, Hell like, yeah. Uh, Cow's what's chicken. Another? Yeah, freaking Sailor Moon. Shout out to Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon was about astrology. Sailor Moon. Who's Sailor Pants on? That's probably the only anime I actually like watching was Sailor Moon. But I don't know if I can consider that an anime, but. Thundercats. Oh, you're going to get Cassie fucking. Thundercats. That's too old for me. That's uh, I'm, I'm, I've never been to the Thundercats or, or, or He Man or anything. Yo, like Cassie that. about to go off. Like, yo, join my channel. No, yeah, bro. come on, come on. Can we establish a <laughs> fucking timeline here? Come on, come on. We're bringing up old ass shit. Like, guys, we're talking. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, when you ask this question, we're talking 90s. Yeah. yeah facts. Right? Facts. Yeah, because we were born in the 80s, but we we watched this shit in the 90s, bro. bro like, yeah. we're, we're talking, Ninja Ninja we're talking 90s. Yeah, yeah, this is the 90s. was the best fucking. I'm sorry. TMNT bro. was the was shit. No, like, here's the thing. A lot of people, it's like, because every time you get old, every generation that gets old always says, it was always better during my time period. The, 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 these new true. kids don't know what the fuck is going on. And listen, I agree with that, and it's true. However, I will not back down. I'm sorry, kids. 90s cartoons are better than whatever the fuck they're doing right now. Right. The cartoons right now are dog <laughs> shit. They suck. Yeah, man. They suck. That's a fact. 90s, 90s cartoons were fire. 90s they is were. the golden. 90s were. is the golden golden period. Period. It's the golden age period, bro. Like it is, Absolutely. and I know it's subjective and all of that, man. But look, the 90s was the shit. Everything if you grew up in the 90s, bro, you are a legend in that own right, bro. Wrestling, you are all that, bro. Come on. Like, you know what I'm saying? We was downloading music off of LimeWire, my G. Like, Max, we, Napster. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, Dude, we, were, you know we, saying? we remember when, when the internet used to have to go like this. Bro, oh, the world the world broke when Masters <laughs> came out. We were literally yeah. developing we the Masters. You used to yeah. probably, you, you used to literally fucking customize. You had to, you, Yo, you know how much shit you had to go through to have music. Y'all remember AIM? Ooh, yeah, yeah. AIM. Who the fuck no. said AIM? You talking about AIM? AIM, AIM. 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 No, we call it who AIM. Bro. Says, who the fuck says AIM? Nah, bro. Nah. Who used to? Who used to That's be in the Yahoo way, pool rooms? <laughs> who used to be in the Yahoo pool rooms, bro? Uh, Yahoo, you would, you would be saying the stupidest shit. You'll meet a chicken from like Australia. You'd be like, "Yeah, I'm being Australia next year." No, and damn well you're not gonna be in Australia. <laughs> <next year. laughs> no, ASL, ASL, H sex location. Where you at? Absolutely. You used to lie your fucking fucking ass off in those chats, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, like we've been there. Like even Auto Machine talking about Road Rash, but Road Rash was the shit. That San Francisco Rush. 
all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's uh, goaded. We're talking about goaded stuff. But yeah, man, with that being said, you know, I mean, I'll leave anyway, it at that. Yeah. But. Anyway, guys, listen, we, we got to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been a long show. I don't know yeah, if you can hear me been. better. I got I removed some echo thing. If you can hear me better, let me know. You actually I'll, do sound a little bit better. Oh, all right. Maybe maybe that's what it was. But anyway, it was a great show. I want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, thank you to the uh, to everybody that donated a dollar. Hit the like button, share it out. Appreciate all the members for real. I really really do. Um, Dark, if you got anything to plug other than your ass, let me know, brother. Now it's your time. No, I I, I don't. Want, I just have Twitter and that's it. Just just follow me on Twitter. Did you if have you a want YouTube? To. I used to have a YouTube, man, but I, I was like, man, I'm I'm, bro, I'm too impatient with that shit. I rather I, I'm I'm more I'm more along the lines like like I'd rather live my life than try to appease other people, you know, with with YouTube or whatever, you know. So good. I'm just like, nah. I'm good. You, <laughs> um, Meds, you there? What up? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? Pre- appreciate you coming by, bro. Uh, I mean, I'm here every week, brother. It's my job. I know, but you were late, brother. <laughs> I mean, listen, I got other jobs too, all right? Oh, well. When you text me at 8 o'clock, I'm ready. Then you show up, I'm like, oh. Listen, uh, I'm at the mercy of the train schedule, all right? The train was delayed. I was a little late. Nah, I'm, I'm just, sorry. I'm just, I'm just fucking with you, bro. I appreciate you. Nah, Shout out to... Shout out to the best co. Y'all stop hating on my man Mez, bro. He's he's my co-host. He's not going nowhere, brother. Listen, I, I I'm I'm over it. I understand that. Uh, here's the thing. I know that the people don't actually fucking hate me, because bro, we do they the fucking show opinions. every week. No, that's cool. They, they, we do the show every week, and the and and the fucking live chat loves me. And then you look at the fucking comments right. afterwards, Back. and it's like. Everybody fucking hates me. It's like, bro, I mean, listen. I hit up Blaze just to get to meds, dude. That's all I. I'm just that's, like, bro. I'm trying to get to hey, meds. Hey, you, go. you finally got one, man. You were saying, hey, hey, anybody out there, please draw meds some fan art. Draw some. Yo, fan yo, art, listen, yeah, because we we were talking about this the other day. It's like, yo, Blaze is constantly getting fan art from fans. It's like. Yo, this is how I know I don't got no fans. Nobody draws me. Can somebody please draw me? I'm begging you. I'm fucking begging you. Draw me. I'm begging you. Listen, listen. I'll even pay you. I'll even pay you. But we'll just keep it secret that I paid you. And you can just pretend that it was some fan art. I just want to make it seem like I got some fans, all right? Anywho, um, thanks again, everybody, for showing up. Uh, (laughs) Another great fucking solid cast episode in the books. Uh, Thanks for Artemis for pulling up. And uh, just want to say one last thing. Actually, want to uh, also thank uh, Strick for pulling up. Um, really appreciate his input every week whenever he pulls up. Um, but I want to say one last thing. This last Sunday, it might have been Sunday, it might have been Saturday. But um, Sacred Symbols 300, uh, that's that Colin, Colin Moriarty joint. I'm sorry if you guys hate him. But um, there was a whole show um, in New York City. And the Iron Lords hosted that shit. Like, they opened it up for the Sacred Symbols guys. And I thought that was so amazing and so cool. And I was there in attendance, obviously rocking my Iron Lord shirt. And uh, I say that to say this. Uh, not only do I want to congratulate the Iron Lords for fucking just... They just keep reaching newer and higher heights. Uh, I just want to say that um, I think that the Solid Cast can reach heights like that too. And uh, I think the people that will push us there are people like you. People who are here listening to the outro listening from the show from beginning all the way to the end. And we love you so much for supporting us and yo. Yeah. Literally we do this for you and thank you guys. And uh, hopefully we have our own fucking live show in New York city one day. And uh, I'm, I'm, I got faith that some shit like that can actually happen. And I know that because people like you guys support us so much and you guys got our backs as well. So uh, thank you guys so much. Love you guys so much. Shout out to blaze, Artemis, strict, God damn, man. That was well said, bro. Holy fuck. Maybe I should stop paying you. That was well said, bro. Yo, Strick. Thank you for yep. coming, bro. I really appreciate you. You already know. Uh, and you already know, bro. You you're you're you know, you asked for the link, you're gonna get it, bro. So I appreciate you coming by. Y'all already know, man. Send in the chat, man. Love, of course, everyone on the panel, dope people, man. When you come to hit you, when y'all already know, man, when y'all come to this podcast. Y'all gonna get the real. We not going, you know what I'm saying? We not going sugarcoat nothing. 
But regardless, man, I want to send positive vibes to everyone in the chat and on the panel. Remember, man, stand in your confidence, be confident in everything you do and embody that shit. And it's going to change his life. You feel me? So stand 10 toes, 10 toes down in your power, no matter what the next person says. And you good to go, man. With that being said, man, like you said, shout out to y'all in the chat. Shout out to everybody on the panel. It's gang. You already know. Absolutely. good easter oh yeah happy easter if you're into that happy easter i got kids so i got right. fucking eggs everywhere uh <laughs> but yeah happy easter everybody have a good weekend we'll see you next week bless up peace out